Hello guys! How are we all? There we go, microphone is on! There we go, right. Got a new controller, well, I've got my PS5 controller, it's not a new one. Anyway, let's get into this. So, finally back from my stream, uh, YouTube recording, you've got nothing to worry about. We're finally going into the upper castle, it feels good, I'm playing with my PS5 Hogwarts Legacy controller. It's a brilliant controller. Um, and yeah, we just got to carry on, get as much done as we can. Hopefully, like I said, I'm going to finish it in this playthrough, in this live stream. We'll see. I've started a bit earlier, a bit of the upper castle, just like the rest of the castle. It's got a bit of a facelift. It's got nice, more, big, it's, it's basically it's got more corridors, more beans, more secret areas. Um, this is the main seat. Obviously, the, this was the area we had in the PS1 Foster Stone game. Um, but this is way, this isn't where you enter now. No, no, no. This is way further down the line. Um, yeah, just a lot more students, a lot more knights. You know, try to attack you. So it's not all good, but it's not all bad at the same time. But here we are. Her mind is there. She's just got wait like, oh, I've got to wait here. I've got to wait here. Have a I? Not, not really, Hermione. But there we go. So we've already got fourteen cards. Wrong! You can't run past someone saying, let me this kill you, really you rude little boy. Say sorry. He's probably the bravest wizard who's ever lived. Is that why you've marked all Lockhart's lesson with little hearts on your timetable? I have not! Bloody hell, Ron, just embarrassing okay, her in front of I'm everyone. Fine. Come on, let's no, go. obviously not, mate. You just run past me, Ron. Come, come to me. I'm going to kill you. Let me... Like, why would I be okay, Ron? See, we're, we're buggering off defence against dark hearts. I can't be bothered with it. No, we will go to it. We've just got to explore the uh, upper castle first. So first off, we're going in here. First secret area. This should be for Jacunda Sykes, who was the first person to fly around the world on a broomstick solo or across the Atlantic. One of the two. Anyway, we're getting her. That's what we're doing. Um, so yeah. Uh, hello to anyone currently watching. Hope you're, hope you're having a good day. Obviously, like I say, do type away in the chat. I'm more than happy to speak to you. You know, um, we can chat about anything you want. Um, so yeah, just type away. Ooh. So yeah, basically get these two together. Make sure you get your points, obviously. Hit that one twice like I just did. You want your house points. House points are important. And the music in here is... I love this music. Yeah, this is one of my favourite tracks from the, uh, the games. It's like, just when you're exploring the game, this is absolutely beautiful. Nice beans, because yeah, we're on the hunt for 500. So what are we? Are we about 245? Did it say? Yeah, 245. So yeah, just under halfway to getting the um, the Flipendo spell upgrade. I'm so annoyed. I didn't actually do what the other people were saying. Where go and get that first of all, have fun with that, and then get the cards afterwards. But yeah, what am I like? What am I like? Oh well, I love this area as well. I mean, I don't know why it's like dusk. Like the sun's setting, it's like coming towards the end of the day, <laughs> but it's beautiful skies, Be like nice little flag of Hogwarts. Uh, like it up here. Wish for some music though, you know, just <laughs> the silence is very eerie. And then finally, reason we've come up here, not for just banana striped beans, stuff like that, no, no, no. Jacunda Sykes. Jacunda or Jacunda, whichever you prefer. Sykes. And we'll have a look at her. Um, Ignite. Harry Where is she? Gaspard, she? I think she's on the second row. Sorry, just you just got a bit hurt. Rowena, Jacunda Sykes. There she is. First person to fly across the Atlantic on a broomstick. Perfect. I wasn't sure which button I'd use for select thing. Uh, I've gone for the like middle, like this design of Hogwarts. This middle button here for the select button. So there we go. Um, let's drop down. Oh, you don't fall, Harry. I want that chocolate frog. Oh, God. Yes. Okay, I've not messed up. Perfect. So, the way I like to explore the upper castle is I follow the purple carpet. It's like it's like the ribbon road in you know, Wizard World. Just follow that road. No, we've got to follow the purple carpet. That's what you want to do at this school. You never want to get lost. Just follow the purple carpet. If there's no purple carpet, 
you're screwed. <laughs> um, but no, we'll follow the purple carpet round and then we'll go on the other path. So we'll go turn left here, we'll go right when we get back. Hi James, hope you're okay, it is beautiful. So we're in the main area where we were in the last game, your friend George stood here, there was the weight of it, you know, the doors here, and transfiguration door was like here. Hedwig, I'm not going to bloody trans uh, defense against dark arts, you can bugger off. I'm exploring the castle. And then yeah, this is like the second hallway, so in here we go. This is for the card of, I want to say it is, it's, Oh, I picture him. The famous magical theoretician, Adalbert Waffling. It's for him. That's who it's for. Adult Berto Waffling. Yeah, the, the rooftop area really is beautiful. So, you've got to defeat a few knights in this area. You know, no messing about today. Straight into it. Boom, boom, boom. You know, crazy, crazy school skin. Like, if my school had knights that attacked, like, it wouldn't be open very long. If you had killer knights on the loose, but there we go. Hogwarts is just a crazy, crazy place. Wouldn't expect anything less from Hogwarts, would you? And just being the absolute craziest place in the entire world. So we've got to wait for this thing. Oh, thunder everywhere. This is what happens when you defeat all the knights for thunder and lightning inside the castle. I don't even know. Um, and then we can jump across to here. Boom. And of course, some more beans. Because why wouldn't there be more beans? All the beans in the world. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And then into here to get the card. Ooh, no one is saying. See, so yeah, don't fall off. I have done that before, trust me. You've got to go all the way back round. It's a bit annoying. And then onto here. Whoop. No jumping mistakes today. <laughs> the Xbox controller's gone. We're not going to have any you know, jumping mistakes. Nothing like that. And then let's go have a look at Adam Waffling. Her birth Adel Adelbert Waffling. Famous magical theoretician. Famous magical he says that so excited. Famous ah. magical theoretician. Oh god, it's Peeves. Get away, Peeves, you bugger. Um so yeah, we can now go back through here. When it decides it wants to load. I I mean this loading screen map, that sort of auto safe thing, does become rather annoying. But you've got to live with it, I guess, you know. And yeah, we can go along here. Um, so this is just some due to flooding. Miss Phil, she's like, get out. And this is Morgan Myrtle's bathroom. Again, it's girl's bathroom, so it's locked currently. But if you know the story, you'll know we'll be going in there sooner rather than later. So purple carpet finished. Let's head back and then head the other way. Oh, there's a beam there, actually. Good job. I have not missing the bean. No, no, no. Beans, beans, they make the world go round. So this way we head now. Um, for, uh, yeah, they're probably thinking, where the bloody hell is that Harry Potter? He's late for class, but somehow we're going to be the first to the class. Yeah, makes no sense whatsoever, but there we go. We will be the first to somehow to defect against Dark Arts. Like, don't ask me how or why, but we're going to the night's room because that's clearly more important. And we're going to do the crazy, crazy night run. Ah! We try to swipe and kill a 12 year old boy. Back into here, and this is the area. But this is the area. This is where you go and get Cassandra of the Black Skin. The final was a card of the Upper Castle area. Um, to leave us with what, 16, 17? I've already forgotten. But it leaves with a fair few cards. So yeah, create like a massive, massive room. Like where Hogwarts get the room for this stuff, I do not know. But that's not for me to worry about, is it? Um, so we've got to get up there. So first of all, just follow the beans. Thankfully, we've laid a nice path out for you with beans, just showing us where we need to go. And then, don't go up there yet. I've said follow the beans, but this is where you stop following the beans and just go through the door. Ah! Bloody knights. And then up here, nom 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 on all the beans. Stand on here, this crazy pressure plate, and bubbles. Harry's forever flowing, but flowing, <laughs> blowing bubbles. 
stupid little air bubbles through the sky. And I once jumped on there and fell through the floor, just an infinite loop, never ending, and it was awful. It was the worst thing ever. And I hadn't saved, I turned it all off, so I, I basically had to start the game again. It was so annoying. So many rooms here in the castle. I'm surprised Neville hasn't got lost yet. He did, didn't he? Obviously, I know he got he, not inside the castle, but he got lost in uh, the grounds, didn't he? Where we found that crazy giant to uh, bouncing ball. The one that killed me. It was so embarrassing how I got killed by that. But yeah, I don't know if you saw King. I have got a new controller after threatening. Again, not a new one. It is my uh, Hogwarts one for my PS5. It's the limited edition one. So I'm using that now. Finally managed to get it working with Duck Station. So it's happy, happy days. And we're using wireless, you know, no wires. It's easy, I can play above my head like this. Let's have a look at Cassandra the Blatsky. Harry Pop Ignatian the Great Rowan. Hey, oh, oh, oh. There she is. Cassandra the Blatsky. Celebrated seer and author of Unfogging the Future. Do you reckon we got rid of like the dates of and dates of death and because of her, like where obviously it's the thing of nineteen ninety seven when this game Oh, well, the first one takes place in 91, 92, this one 92, 93. I wonder if that's why. Exactly, yeah, there's no excuses, King, when we go and do the defence against that. Honestly, you'll see, I can feel the difference already, how he's, you know, just, just the way I'm moving. It, that, that Xbox control, I mean, the wire was literally hanging out. You, you could see live wires and stuff. Um, so, yeah, it was on its way out. <laughs> um, so, yeah, you'll see, you'll go see me boss. The uh, boss, the uh, get to class challenge now. There's gonna be no errors whatsoever. So yeah, my PS1 disc for Foster Stone PS1, funnily enough, because it's a PS1 disc. Um, it never used to let me play the um, the Quidditch practice. It just go, welcome, Mr. Potter. Grab your broomstick and we'll begin the training. Welcome, Mr. Potter. Grab your broom and it just. Do that forever, and oh, it used to hurt me so much. Remember when I said I've, I've got a new controller? Yeah, this is my same Xbox controller. Yeah, oops. No, uh, that was just me running into a wall like a moron. Um, thankfully, we didn't die. Right, where are you, you stupid books? So yeah, this is Professor Dumbledore. Not this part here is not Professor Dumbledore's office because this would be a bit weird. But Professor Dumbledore's office it is in this area. It's like. The poor guy's got to go all the way up these stairs and this crazy stuff and there's some more flubber mucus just for you, Potter. Um, good old uh, peeves in the last game. But no, uh, yeah, it's like poor Dumbledore. I mean, he's, he's a bit of an old man. I know he's pretty fit, but you don't want your, your office right at the top. Oh, but all the beans collected, all the areas explored. It's time for some... Defence Against Dark Arts, where it's actually not just Defence Against the Dark Forms. No, we're going to be learning a weird spell against... It's not even a spell they use against them. I mean, I don't want to spoil it, but I do, because I mean, it's it's a 23-year-old game. It's a 22-year-old game. So yeah, here's Professor Dumbledore's office. We're learning Putrificus Totalus on the Pixies. But you'll never fight Pixies again. You'll never use Putrificus Totalus again. Meaning it's probably the u most useless spell ever learned in the Potter games. It's just stupid. Um, so yeah, here we go. Moment of truth. Am I going to embarrass myself? Am I going to be good? Oh, the pressure. The pressure's on. It's the final countdown. It's a final countdown. So yeah, don't go that way. That would be embarrassing. But yeah, no wonder Crab and Goyle are like thick because they, there's no way they get into class um, at all. Like, come on, they can't jump and run like Harry can. It's just, it's quite, um, it's quite a un in inclusive school, isn't it, Hogwarts? Like, Crab and Goyle are thick because they can't get to class because you've got to do the most dangerous and crazy stuff ever in the world. Um, the area where Dumbledore, it looked like, it, so it is, the, yeah, so it's the upper castle from the last game, so this is the upper castle, it's just sort of like changed, and sort of improved almost, just made bigger and better and badder than ever. Um, so this part, 
yeah, that, that last part's probably the most important part. If you screw that up and you miss the jump when on the little circle thing, the little stone circle, you're buggered. You're not making it. And here he is, Gilroy Lockhart himself. He's going to give a good old cheer like that. Come on, Harry! And there we go. Smashing the record. I hit, what, 30 seconds almost. Well done, Harry. I knew you'd be the first to get to my class. He's chinking for a don't seem to have any signed photos on me at the moment. Uh, but have this defense against the dark arts race cup in Oh, what a shame. No signed picture for me. Oh. Oh, well, I'll take this trophy because it nearly gets us a wizard card. Oh no, I'm locked in with the crazy, creepy Defense Against Dark Art teacher. Not again! It is Luke, so it's uh, the Away Hello, Top uh, from uh, 86 to 88. One of my favourite United Tops, this one. I've got about 50 in my, <laughs> my wardrobe. Watch my expensive wand as it moves. Hi, John. Hope you're well. It points to. Do this three times, and you will learn Petrificus <gasps> Totalus. Oh my God! I'm going to learn Petrificus Totalus to use it for about four seconds. Very stylish, <laughs> just like me. Splendid perfection. Splendid. That's probably like ninety-one percent. I think. Not the best. Yes, now it works. I'm good at guessing at least. That's the easy one. Oh, that was the easy one. <gasps> Very stylish. <laughs> Just like me. Very stylish. <laughs> Just like me. That's a hundred percent. Oh, this is, you know, so I'm actually, you know what, I, I've got Villa wrong behind me. I mean, I can't show it because YouTube may just tear my ass off. But I have got the Aston Villa game on Get in ready. the background, uh, King. I'm guessing you're a, a Birmingham fan. Splendid. 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 Perfection. I'm amazing. Just like him. Another 100%. We've done it without ease. Um nice and easy look at that got the air we're on fire we don't need to worry about you know well, actually we do we've got one more technical day. lesson but there we go happy You've days super easy against the dark arts lesson cup for your hard work well done you have now won all the hi Bjorn oh that's good uh, John yeah no, glad to see you here in the chat is now waiting for you in your common room See, I'm on my TV, behind, so I'm playing on my laptop, <laughs> my gaming Excellent. laptop, and then on the TV Excellent behind me, I've got the football on. Uh, Aston Villa versus Lille. Now, be warned. You may find yourself facing your worst fears in Oh, it's happened again. I'm, 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 I'm kind of Lockhart. Remain calm. Ready? Like, technically. Freshly caught Cornish pixie. Oh! Don't worry, I stunned this one earlier. We are quite safe. <clears throat> well, I'll Hi, Mr. Doomstar. Just to put this PS1 Hagrid will be with us in about 20 cases, minutes' time. I'll Not to worry, Mr. Doomstar. He'll Looks be like here. Lockhart wants to give us some hands-on experience. Oh, I'll brilliant. Oh, will he now? Like, why does Hermione stand so stand. sassy? Like, ooh. Hands-on hit. Yeah, She's got like a... Bum out like am I it? Less of the attitude. Oh I I hope you have to. It's not good if yeah, in. don't get chicken wrong. I have before. Simple. It's not good. <laughs> now you try with the second one, Harry. Ron and I are going to round up the others. Isn't you? Professor Lockhart wonderful? Okay, I'll try my best, but my wand's been acting very funny lately. Like, who put you in charge of buying it? So yeah, for some strange reason, the pixies meow like cats. So you you use Petrificus Totalus, even though it's not the spell, it's in Morbulus. But well, there we go. Well done, Harry. I'll make sure these don't escape while you go and capture the rest. 
Oh yeah, so you do sweet fuck all as always, Hermione. Jesus Christ. She she talks for talk so much. She stands like this. She doesn't go to classes. Yeah, she never does bugger all. And this noise is actually so annoying. Very good, Potter. Uh, you'd better check on young Mr. Weasley upstairs. Catch you later. Oh, what? he does the most Scooby-Doo like run ever, like running away from what's his hands out like this. Going, Ooh. So yeah, the Defense Against Dark Arts challenge, it's really short compared to the Herbology one, but Herbology one's really good. This one, not so good, unfortunately. We've just got to go into like two or three rooms um, and get the pixies. When they're on the floor, see, Tufka's totalis them. See, he's not doing that little squeaky one anymore. The little, we got you, Leviosa. He's doing, we got you, Leviosa. <laughs> she actually is. She she just bosses him around and then expects him to do everything. See, I'm the same with chicken. Like I always, yeah, I'm always worrying. I mean, yeah, I just work myself up about it, but it's not. It's obviously 99.99% of the time fine. But yeah, no, I completely get that. Be all. Uh, be all. Oh. Come on, sit on the floor. So it's just so weird how you face these pixies now, and then you literally do it never again in the game. You know, not in the Chamber of Secrets, not in... Not in anything. Oh, I don't know. It, it may have been. I mean, John might know a bit more of that uh, in terms of, you know, with Alex, um, if that was actually a cut spell. I'm not too sure. It's, it probably will have been. There we go. Oh, that's so cool. I'd definitely go be joining that job. Oh, oh I, want a I need a chocolate frog. So yeah, this is, they're the only two rooms. You get to the bottom of here, and why does the Defense Against Dark Arts like, office have such like a weird slidey floor? Where, where is this? And uh, Again, doesn't make sense. But there we go. All done and dusted. Well done. You've all passed the test. Oh yeah, have we? Obviously, I'm sure we have. have defeated these pixies with oh, of, of course. 20 points to Gryffindor. Very stylish, just like him. My ass. Isn't he wonderful? Oh, Sorry, I'm just getting a drink. If you can hear me, I'm just getting a drink. Hello, I wonder if you three could do something for me. No, Nick. Bugger this off. This Halloween will be my 500th death day. Did I ask? Tomorrow I'm holding a party down in one of the roomier dungeons. Friends will be coming from all over the country. It will be such an honour if you, Mr. Weasley, and Miss Granger would attend. Very impressive and frightening. But I don't frightening. find you frightening at all. You're a bloody coward. You, you make little fun games for me. Like, how is that scary? You make a little onion chase after me and give me a wizard card. And you've got the campy skip in the word. world. I love Nick. I'm only teasing. Always with the jokes wrong. <laughs> it's so depressing to me. You're not funny wrong. Stop trying to be. You, you just, you just not at all. The race for the house cup continues. And no one cares about the house cup, but here we are. Ravenclaw. I honestly could not care, I'm just watching the football at the moment, I could not care less about the house, the race for the house cup, because we're going to win. Just give it to the Harry Potter house, because it's not Gryffindor, is it? It's Harry Potter. That's what it is. Slithering. Oh, what, what are they announcing? Where's my phone? Gryffindor. 420. It's not Gryffindor, mate. It's Harry Potter. That's where it is. Like, get it right. 
Gryffindor are in the lead on house points. Yeah, no one comes to this thing. Jack, there's this weird chair. Like, yeah, woo! Like, what? Are we a nursery? Like, why are, why are 50 year olds and stuff cheering like that? Do you know what people at high school sound like? Because it's definitely not that. Jesus Christ. Oh, it's a big scary mod. No, it's just Nick. Oh, going back in the common room. Work. See you later, mate. Can't be bothered with you. No, we're, I'm only joking. Nick, we'll come to your party as long as you're not obnoxious and tell me about it every single second of a bloody day. So here we are, getting Godric the Gryffindor. Godric Gryffindor card. Lovely jubbly. Thank you very much, mate. I'll take that. You know who Godric Gryffindor is, but there we go, it doesn't really matter. He, he, he founded a house of Hogwarts, didn't he? You know, <laughs> big deal, mate. Oh, he's still here. Oh, there you are, Harry. Hermione and Ron are already at my door. Oh, that was nice of them waiting for me, wasn't it? Come on, Harry, you don't want to be late. Yes, I'll see you in the dungeons. Be quick. You don't want to miss the celebrations. So, one... I just went... I'm going to the toilet. Wrong, Hermione. Just wait up, please. Um, and instead, they just rang off without me. The bloody rude little buggers. That's what they are. Two. Blooming... Nearly eggless nicks. Like, oh, see you in the dungeons. So you think, oh, he's just going to walk off. He's going to go to the dungeons. No, no, no. No. Every single step of the way is like, my party's got Maggie Haggis, furry geek cheese, and green tea. I don't know why we've got green tea, but yeah, there we go. Come on, Harry, you don't want to be late. I don't want to go at all, to be honest, but here we are. <laughs> Dead and buried. But yeah. Oh, God, he's, what, what do you want this time, Nick? At my party, there's Maggie Haggis. Fairy green cheese and a tombstone cake. Delicious, eh? I rather eat this way, dog feces. That's Harry, not not me personally. It's what Harry's saying, by the way. I'm just keep internalizing his monologuing his internal Wasn't thoughts. Wasn't that nearly headless, Nick? The Gryffindor oh, house ghost. Fucking hell! Who yes, else Colin, we gonna meet along the way? I'm it's Harry today. Here, isn't it? Fuck off, Colin. That's what Harry said again. That's what Harry said. Not me. Don't shoot the messenger. <laughs> um, but yeah, just. Who else are we gonna meet along the way? Who else is annoying? Lavender Brown, oh god, I don't wanna see her. Fun one here, you can skip his stupid annoyingness. Just haha, <laughs> beat him. Take that, Nick. Missed me, miss me, I bet you wanna kiss me. Haha. <laughs> oh, I have a special he scared me then. This way, Harry. Is it that I'm the most annoying, stupid campus ghost in the world? I'm so mean to Nick. After all he did for his last year, with all the fun games he did. Haha. <laughs> Dodge him again. Coughing Dodger. Ghost Dodger. I don't know. I mean, Nick's not a coughing Dodger because he's dead. But yeah, here we are in the dungeons. And the dungeons are a bit less impressive, I'd say, than last year. Oh, God. I spoke too soon when I thought we wouldn't meet anyone more annoying than Colin Creevy, but here we are. Uh, yeah, so we look like it's got purple goo just just there. Um, absolutely stupid. Like, I, I prefer the dodgings of the PS1 game. They seem more scary, more menacing, more realistic. J just a better place, like this purple goo and stuff in this dungeon. It's just a bit boring. Is it bad, but I want the basilisk to eat Colin and make sure that he doesn't end up as the one. <laughs> oh, imagine them two hot in a bathroom together. Colin and Myrtle and Harry's just... Oh, Harry! 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 Oh! Oh, I, I think Harry would kill himself. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's just... It's less event... It, I mean, uh, compared... Obviously, all the other castle got bigger. But this castle got... Uh, this Sorry, all the other areas of the castle got bigger. The dungeons just got so small and... And like, it doesn't feel like a school dungeon, it just feels like a, a game dungeon, doesn't it? Like, why would a, a school dungeon have purple goo, green sludge, just as floor everywhere? It makes no sense, like, if, imagine how pissed off Professor Snape would be every day having to walk along there. 
You wouldn't be happy. It's a nasty place, but you're fitting with that ugly face. You know what? That, that's a good one, piece. Pals, okay, you annoy me again, Dad. Yeah, but don't. Hey, you can't. You're fitting with your ugly face. One of the best lines this game has. So into here, pull the lever. <gasps> and out of a purple. Thankfully, no sludge on it. Like normally, that should be some sludge. Yeah, yeah. Get, obviously, yeah, I've been defense against dark art. Well, not it wasn't defense against dark art. It was just defense against the dark room. Remember, guys, all you learnt was a uh, uh, Emilius. Oh no, no! I just, I just meant uh, it, like uh, a <laughs> no, no. It's def. I mean, I can't speak for every school. Uh, we didn't have mine. I just mean like obviously. I mean, Hogwarts had a as a school. It won't have green sludge. I tell you, but there's no green. Uh, there's no sorry. There's no dungeons. Uh, definitely at my school anyway. Um, we might have had a creepy cellar, like basement area. But yeah, no, no, no dungeons unless you go to like boarding school. Come on, <laughs> come on, Colin, jump in the purple group. Anything for you, Harry? <laughs> no, you fucking no, he's, he's dead. Oh, that. It, you, and then you know what they do? You know the celebration in the Star Wars films. You're like at the end of a uh, Empire. Uh, sorry, the end of a uh, Return of a Jedi. It'd just be that. Everyone's celebrating Colin Creed's death. Oh my God, Peeves! Right, even know me now. Just shut up. You overdid it. You know, it was funny the first time. Now it's not. Virgin Millis is a poor man's Lumos. You've got that right. A hundred percent. Like who? I want to run a port. Like who's more annoying, Colin Creevy or Jar Jar Binks? Oh, I'd actually I would go Colin. But in, like then again, in order with a thing, it's game. Colin's actually quite funny in that one. Yeah, he's a bit annoying. But he's, you know, he's less annoying in that. It's like I was watching some Clone Wars earlier, and obviously, I mean, I'm not watching, I, I, I'm quite far into it now. I've never watched it before. It was like the other one episode where it's Bail or Glang or Jar Jar Binks, and I, I did want to just turn the TV off for 99% of the episode. <laughs> uh, finally, back along here, and we can enjoy a good old Death Day party, because I'm sure nothing will go wrong at a Death Day party, you know. Nothing wrong at all could happen, except everything. You know, it's, it's just a bunch of dead people and ghosts and stuff. What can go right? I watch. I don't. I, I don't know if you guys know about him, but if you don't, I implore you to go watch him. He does like these deep fakes of like. It's based like Qui Gon as a Force ghost, Obi Wan and Anakin as a clone, watching Star Wars films and TV shows. And it's amazing. Let's go, Harry. Um, yeah, let's go, Harry. Yeah, where have I been? You left me, you bastards. That's where I've been. You know, if you hadn't left me, none of this would have happened. He's called Charlie Hopkinson. I, I please after the stream, obviously, because we're, we're all having a fun time. Do go watch Charlie Hopkinson. It is brilliant. Oh look, look, Ron's having the time of his life, you know, doing a bit of karaoke with the bloody Baron. Look at the squares around the ghost. It's it's just it's so bad. You can see the fucking. So oh. Yeah, okay. If you want to kill me, Nick. Peeves, Harry, Jesus Christ, is Voldemort put you up to this? Feel free to mingle, Harry. Ron and Hermione are around here somewhere. Happy Death Day, Nick. I think Ron has a present for you. I'll go and tell him to bring it over. Like, why did we invite Peas to the party? Like, who thought this were a good idea? Definitely the fat fryer. Like, yeah, I've got eyes, Ron. I know I wear glasses, but I'm not blind. Also, Ron, that was a pathetic attempt. You just let him take it. Like, what is wrong with you? Oh God, my, my charge has come done. Harry Potter. No, this is not the time. Oh God. Sh bloody hell, Harry. <laughs> Let's get out my folio major. while well, the jelly's being thrown at my head. Stupid boy. 
Oops. See, I feel in the books he was actually invited, like, and just caused chaos, obviously. You know, sort of made Myrtle hear what Hermione was saying about him and caused all the chaos, which caused him to leave, sort of thing. But I might be wrong, I might be misremembering it, but I'm pretty sure he was, in the books he, he was actually invited. And he's just like, well, what? Like, Nick, you hate him. Jesus Christ. I've always wondered who that is, who that picture is of, obviously who they've modelled that off, because it's obviously not Rick Mayo, so I do wonder who it is. But yeah, I, obviously I said it in the PS1 version of Floss of Stone, and a few of you agreed. Hogwarts Legacy Peeves is just not good at all. Compared to this guy, it's pathetic. I just it, it seems a completely different character. Peeves, give Ron back his present. How hard did he throw that? Peter has got some strength. Wrong. how many times have I told you to stop doing that voice? And we go back to the weird green tint thing. Enjoy the story of how the chamber was the opened was again. Fainter, and Harry was sure it was moving away, moving upwards. He began to run, his stomach lurching. Something was shining on the wall ahead. Harry approached slowly, squinting through the darkness. Mrs. Norris, Filchie's cat, was hanging by her tail from a torch bracket. She was as stiff as a board, her eyes wide and staring. Foot-high words had been daubed on the wall above the petrified cat. Harry shuddered as he read them. The Chamber of Secrets has been opened. Enemies of the air, beware. Before Harry could leave, several people appeared in the corridor. When Filch Is it just me, or do you think Filch looks like Mad Eye Moody there? You. Like You've murdered my cat. Looks You've so much like Mad Eye Moody. And then Draco Malfoy shouted out to everyone gathered. Enemies of the air, beware. You'll be next, mudbloods. Professor Dumbledore calmed everyone down and sent them all to bed. Ron reckoned that he had an idea who the heir of Slytherin was. And both he and Harry went to meet Hermione in the library. Nothing annoys me more than how Draco Malfoy says, Beware. Beware! Like, no normal human being says it like that, you freak. What are you even on about? I'm sure that Draco Definitely will, Malfoy John. is the heir of Slytherin. I think he might be right. And if he is, I know where we can prove it. Polyjuice Potion. Polly what? Juice, juice, potion. juice potion wrong. Even like Slytherin. it's not even a complicated word. Just go. What's polyjuice potion? Going. Polly what? I can't say them words. Lacewing flies, leeches, fluxweed, knocked grass, horn of bicorn, and shredded boom slang. They are yes, uh, beyond. They're all from the okay. PS2 game. The, uh, the little fluxweed. screenshots. Harry, you can get the leeches. Whoa, 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 Ron! Who put you in charge? Get the oh, you'll get the you least amount of stuff, even though this is your idea. And you're not coming to potions class. Like, what do you do at this school, Hermione? You just sit on your ass, yelling at people, telling them what to do, going, you could have been killed, or worse, expelled. And then, you, why aren't you expelled? You never got classes. You never do anything. And, blooming, I'm doing all the work, once again, where you're getting the horn of bicorn. Silence. Mixing potions is a very precise science. I suggest that Potter, Weasley, and Longbottom listen carefully to my every word. This year, like last year, I won't allow any disobedience. Pay attention, Potter. You are going to remind us how to mix a Wiganweld potion. I'm Snape. You remember, Snape. You must first Snape. Cerverus. Snape. 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 With this down, Cerverus. You must then press Snape. the three symbols indicated until the cauldron fills. Yeah, this is the least favourite part of the game. Like, they just shoehorn in this potions class so awkwardly and randomly. And it's just the exact same lines of last year and the exact same method. It's just boring. Like, he's going to say the exact same stuff like, only a fool would expect better. Like, it just, it's so lazy and stupid. I, I hate it. Good enough. Only a fool would expect better of you. This is prophetic work. The cauldron is full. 
You can activate it to gain the Wigan World potion. Class dismissed. <laughs> Rather than Neville and running off Aurelia. Like, oh, can't wait to get out of here. It's awful. It's crap. It's stupid. I hate it. But here we have. Here we go. Hopefully, we wait. It's been per worth it for you, Mr. Doomstar. Because here he is. Da -da 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 -da. PS1 Hagrid. It's nearly Halloween and my No, it's not. Halloween was overrun with death day party. He died on the 31st of October. Oh, what are you on Hagrid? about, Hagrid? But I think Ron has some things he needs to do. I do? Like getting some knocked grass and flux weed? Oh, yeah. Just make sure that you don't forget the boomslang skin, uh, lace wings and leeches. It's the lace wing flies. Ah, oh, nasty creatures. But if you're after some boomslang skin, I've got some in the hut. Need this stuff for homework, do you? Uh, yes, that's right. Homework. <laughs> He's on to us. Harry, oh, kill right him and run. Harry, I'll make a deal with you. Get rid of them gnomes in my pumpkin patch, and I'll give you some boom slang skin. Okay, Hagrid, it's a deal. All right, you want me to shout, Harry? It's a deal, everyone. You heard him. Me and Hagrid have got a deal. Thank God, Hagrid's not didn't get complete third year of Hogwarts, or he might have recognised the ingredients of a polyjuice potion. Let's see if you can get these blasted gnomes out of my pumpkin patch. Do well enough and I'll give you some boom slang skin. To fling the gnomes, press the square button which will help you build up speed. The faster you press, the more speed you gain. When you reach the fence, press the triangle button when you're ready to chuck the little pest out of my pumpkin patch. Try and throw the gnomes as far as you can, Harry. You'll get points for distance and extra points for every target you hit. When I say, this is, I actually hate this part more than Gringotts, I won't lie. This one is hard. It's so annoying to try and hit that bird bath. What you want to do is just get into this fourth one like this. And not throw it like that. That was dreadful throw. That's embarrassing. This is probably going to take a few goals. I am not very good at this one. It's the only thing in a Harry Potter game I'm not good at. I won't lie. Uh, it's just so annoying. Yeah, and like Hagrid, mate. It was Halloween like a week ago. You know, all that stuff at the Death Day Pie was Halloween. What were the game developers thinking? How, see, how does that not count? I hit it. Oh. Right. You've got to hit that one to even have a chance at doing anything. So I'm going to go for it again. I don't care. We'll probably have to have a few goals at this. Oh, God, right. I, yeah, it's some Gringotts music too, which is even more infuriating. Just terrible flashbacks. We're just going to throw it. Uh, I don't even care. Watch this. He's got a pumpkin fetish, Hagrid. That's what he's got. Right, I'm going to try. Maybe I'm doing don't it too worry. hard. Yeah, I don't care, Hagrid. Maybe I'm trying too hard, but let's try um, try it like this thing. Right, in the third bar. Is that is that what you want? No, again, still. Oh, no. Oh. That were a terrible score. Oh! Well done, Harry. Here, have some Q Hagrid. Skin. Q. You, it. you do it next time, then, mate. That was a terrible score. That's awful. <laughs> you big bully. Wasn't that fun, Harry? Yes, Won't I did. Again. Right, I'm gonna go for the scarecrow and stuff first this time. You know what? We'll, we'll leave it to the last. So for the scarecrow, I've probably gone too hard, but there we go. We'll try and get that thing instead. I don't even do that. I'm doing it all wrong. I'm doing it all wrong. It's all falling apart. God. Right. There we go, Scarecrow. Don't, don't you dare move. <laughs> I mean, you're not missing out on anything, James, but it, I, I, I'm doing it. It's a hundred percent walkthrough, so I've got to. Normally, this one I will say, I actually think this is. I, your people never can. People say Gringotts. I honestly think this is the hardest thing ever um, in a Harry Potter game. No, I don't want to hit the stupid scarecrow again. <laughs> <laughs> that was terrible, Harry. You were shit. You're a loser. Wasn't it fun, though? <laughs> Alright, Hagrid. Come on. Oh, 
pew, pew, pew. I still don't think I'm going to have enough for a hundred. Right, that's 500. No. So, oh, I might actually. So that's I need 300. So if we hit the... We hit the birdcage, that's 250. Right. Let Harry spin. No, it's going to hit the blasted tree. <laughs> oh. I don't care about high score Hagrid. Wasn't that fun, Harry? Do you want to play again? Not really, but I've got to. Right, hit the catcher, eh? boom. <laughs> the gnomes just love it. Even like the books, apparently, they just love getting thrown about and stuff like. They've got a kink for it again. Yeah, like Hagrid's got a pumpkin fetish. These just like to be tortured. Like they're into some some nasty stuff for gnomes. You know, they want, they want to be really demeaned. Uh, I don't know what I'm on about. Like, what? I've lost the plot. Right. Boom. Nice start. Got the cat. Got the scarecrow. We got. We now got three attempts to hit the blasted birdcage. Okay. No, not like that. You need it more centralised. <laughs> oh god. And this is too weak. No, it's not! <laughs> Come on! Oh, it was a little, like, lofty one. You know, just hitting it. Oh, yes. Well, there we go. Nice big score there. So we just need to get 30 points for the card. So just, we're going to try and aim for the thing. Oh, imagine if we get them all on this one, but we didn't get all on the other one. That's, that's a bit embarrassing, but there we go. Oh, come on, I hit that. Oh, whatever. I don't care. We've done it, guys. Oof. Well done. You got yourself a new high score. Edgar Struger. Was the stress worth it? Probably not. I've probably aged about ten fun, years. Do, you play again? do I bollocks? I never want to do denorming on the PS1 ever again, Hagrid. Get away from me. For saving my pumpkins, Harry. I hope you find a good use for that boom slash. Yeah, I'm gonna pretend to be Gregory Doyle. Look at the time. You better run off to the Quidditch pitch. Your first match against Slytherin's about to start. Hagrid said about him all one breath. <laughs> but bearded stokes, what a word. I will, I'm gonna start using it all are. the time. Bearded stokes. Did you manage to get the fluxweed and not grass? I got some flaxweed, but it wasn't easy. Come Where on, did you get it from, get and why was it easy? Before it's too late. It's never easy for Ron. That's going to be his catchphrase in this game. I did do it, but it wasn't easy. It's like, what, what is easy for you, Ron? Like, I know you're a bit dim-witted, so probably not a lot of things. Oh, God. But here we go. The only Quidditch match of the year, so we don't actually get to play any of the Quidditch matches. So we only want to get Slivering. And it does follow the story of the Rogue Bludger. So it's got a bit of a story element. And again, they rehash something off the stone. Like, a little mini game, which is going to become quite apparent in this game, in this section. A lot of x of Stone mini games. I'll point them out as we go along. It's a bit lazy, but it is where it is. Slithering are leading 60 points to nothing on the fastest racing brooms goal can buy. It's down to you, Harry. Wow, because all these brooms are going so fast. It looks like pensions racing on their scooters. What's going on? They're going about four four meters per second. There's the golden snitch! Malfoy's on it, and Potter's chasing! Even in this game it's not, he always gets knocked out and Harry always has to sort it out. for the stands! Amazing! I've lost sight of them! Yet he still will somehow commentate, and what is that laugh? You know what? I take it back. Malfoy saying beware is number two. Number one is that hoo-hoo! So yeah, basically, just like in Foster's Stone game, when you know, when we were chasing him after he stole them, remember, remember all, 
we just got to beat Michelle Malfoy. Isn't that fun? You know, definitely deserves it. So let's do it. Come here, you little brat. So yeah, a lot of these sections now will just be stuff taken from, from Flutterstone in like your like the little mini games we did, and uh, turned into situations for Chamber. Which again, obviously, it was limited time, limited resources, but it's still a bit lazy. Um, Oh God, I'm actually failing at this. I'm normally beat Malfoy up by now. Come on. You'll be laughing a second when I beat the crap out of you, you blonde bugger. Oh. It's. I, I don't think it will be, you know, but it's Harry Potter. The Madam Hooch can't see us. You know, I bet Malfoy do the same ones if he could. Good. I hope you cry about it in your sleep, you little baby. So now it's just like a regular Quidditch game, just chase down me, uh, Snitch, I mean you've got to catch it in that stupid first person POV sort of thing, which I absolutely hate, but <laughs> there we go. And then we get some top quality Oscar acting, trust me. You've got to be blown away by how good the acting is in the cutscene afterwards. It's absolutely brilliant. Something about my favorite picture of me of Ellis Jr. J. Leno. Oh, shitting hell, Harry. Ah. Okay, you couldn't see us a minute ago, Nick. Lee? Nick? Got nearly a headless Nick on my mind. Oh, I did it really quick there. Wow, I'm impressed. Oh, God. Top quality active. Give them an Oscar, guys. Give them an Oscar. But it's butt time again. But still no Stephen Fry. I miss him. Harry's arm was hanging at a very strange angle, but in his good hand, he held the snitch. Aha! We've won! Lockhart told Harry to lie back as he tried to mend his arm with a charm. A strange and unpleasant sensation started at his shoulder and spread all the way down to his fingertips. His arm didn't hurt anymore, nor did it feel remotely like an arm. Ah, yes. Uh, well, that can sometimes happen. So, Harry, just toddle up to the hospital wing. Madame Pomfrey will be able to um, tidy you up a bit. The next moment, Malfoy is invincible. Into the room. Oh my God! It's a raving claw. Like a What's happened to this raving claw? They heaved it onto a bed. It means that the Chamber of Secrets is indeed open again. I'm joking. Again. It's about a nine decade Colin Creevey. No one's sad about this. To Harry that it was about time he collected together the ingredients. How about the you do it? I'm in the hospital. You moron. I think you should go to Diagon Alley. It was half term by the time Harry's arm was better, and following Hermione's advice, he caught the train to London. I'm not being funny. If Harry met it's Harry right in Diagon that Alley. it was almost Halloween, which it wasn't. Let's be honest. He was in the hospital for almost two months. Like, what the hell, Harry? Why were you in the hospital so long for a little bro you know, broken arm or missing arm bones? You know, it took 24 hours in the book. But no, we're going back to Diagon Alley for no reason whatsoever. In a stupid, it's even more stupid than um, the storyline to take you into Diagon Alley in the first movie. It just makes no sense at all. But it's snowing, the music's beautiful. And, you know, it's short and sweet. There's no Gringotts, thank the Lord. We're not going to be struggling with that. No stress there. Um, it'll just be nice and happy times. But Hagrid still being a pisshead. Harry. He's going we'll back to the, the pub. pub to meet some old friends. Of course he is. I'll meet you back here in a while. But yeah, I never get why her mind's like, yeah, when your arm's better, go. Instead of her just going. So, the snow, we can run around. Harry's got some cutie little ear muffs on. Isn't he a little cutie? But um, let's read the sign. So the cauldron shop. Due to some faulty cauldrons causing a stir, we are still closed. God, it's been Sorry. six months. Like your shop's gonna be closed down soon. Get it sorted out. Gone on holiday. Back next year. Oh, have a good holiday. Whatever shop this is. 
Go on bird watching in Wales. Oh, that's cute. Have fun, mate. Harry, I found the perfect place to make the pulley juice potion. Moaning Myrtle's bathroom in the upper castle. Right, I'm not being funny. I've been in hospital for a while. How have you not You're started smiling. making this potion yet? Jesus Christ. Anyway, you interrupted it. Where are we? We're at Madame Mulkings. We are closed due to daylight robbery. Back at seven o'clock. <laughs> I love that. That one always makes me giggle. Oh, daylight robbery, seven o'clock. We apologise to our customers for the temporary closure. We are still tidying up after Gilderoy Lockhart's last visit. I hope he doesn't want another dragon when he's playing poker. Because I'm not bloody coming back here to make a stupid dragon tonic potion. What's Ollivander doing? Out for a spell. We'll return <laughs> later. A spell. Nice earmuffs, Potter. Did your mum make them for you? PS1 oh, Malfoy is the most sorry. savage bastard I in the world, it. isn't it? Malfoy, you're almost as funny as Filch. Now get out of my way. Alright, Four Eyes. Oh, by the way, I've left a nice prize for you in this shop. Enjoy. I probably won't, will I? Now you've said that. Anyway, um, yeah, we're going to go to two shops. Gringotts. Bank holiday. Today is a goblin bank holiday. Therefore, we are closed. I wonder what goblins celebrate on bank holidays. And we've just got a B-Tech witch woman uh, outside Nocturne Alley. She's not going to turn us into a vole and eat us for his tea, stuff like that. She's just... She's a bit... She's a bit wet. Ooh, compared to the other one. the young man you are. Don't milk it, boy. My reservoir of compliments has run dry. Now go away. Or what? Or what? Don't oh, you're, you're boring. Anyway, we're not going to go into there first of all, where Malfoy's caused the chaos. We're going to go to the Magical Menagerie. So we went here last year. Um, it was a witch. This time, we've got the man from the Magical Menagerie. He's, he's, he's probably a very poor thing. Where did Draco go? Of course he went to Nocturne Alley, the evil bastard. Welcome to the Magical Menagerie. It doesn't look very Christmassy in here, does it? Maybe you don't celebrate Christmas, Harry. Please respect other people's can faith. I you? Can I have some lacewing flies, please? I do indeed have some lacewing flies in stock, but they move too quickly for me to catch. They're hiding in one of these boxes. If you can catch five for me, I'll let you keep them. You need to collect all the flies within the time limit. Why within the time limit? What does that even mean? But yeah, so this is basically like the giant toad thing from last year. Basically the exact same. And there's some boxes. They're hiding in the boxes. You've got to look for one that shaped. Hit the one that shaped. But this time, and then yeah, hit the uh, fly, pick it up. But it's made even easier this time because you can actually follow the flies and basically see where they go into. Um, instead of like you know, the other toad sort of teleported away, you see where the flies go, so it's really easy. Um, it's actually stupidly easy. Um, and yeah, it's a bit boring. I don't like having copy and paste in this one. Um, where are they going? Are we going to this one? Oh, we're going to that one. Oh, okay. Pick it up. And let's get this last one and get the hell out of here. Oh, he's in the back way again. Last one. Boom. All mine. And well now done. for a You've great pun. all the flies. I certainly won't be missing them. Now, buzz off. Maybe, I've never even thought of that, James. Yeah, he, he's wearing the same clothes. And obviously, that's the magical imaginary. I always used to think that was a woman when I was younger. I, I feel really bad. I always used to think that, that the guy in the magical imaginary in the PS2 version was a woman. Even though it had like a receding hairline back here. It just sounded like a woman, and I now feel bad. Okay, Bjorn, you have a good time. Hopefully, it's really good news. Fun game, but I'll have everyone enjoy. Not a problem. Into the apothecary to see what crazy stuff Malfoy has caused. I'm scared. I won't lie. We could be going to a war zone here. What's he done? Please help me. Somebody's Please help me. I'm, I'm a useless shop, shop owner. Place. I'll give you anything you need if you can stop them before they destroy my shop. Why can't you do all the useless wizards? Uh, yeah, so will we use Petrificus Totalus? Of course not. We just got to fend them out of the way. What was the point of learning Petrificus Totalus if we were just going to fend them? 
Oh god. Um, it's stupid, but there we go. And this is obviously just sort of like a, a rip-off version of the chocolate frog uh, pumpkin and cauldron task from the PS1 game in Foster School. So again, just another rip-off. Something you've seen and done before, just they've got a different uh, shine to it. Uh, but if it's not broke, don't fix it. Um, nice and easy, this one. I'd love to have used Patrickus Tontalis again. It doesn't make much sense what you've done, but there we go. Oh, oh god, I'm missing them. I'm missing them bad now. Oh god, what am I doing? Oh, there we go. So much. How can I repay you? Have you got any Killed Draco Malfoy. There you are. And thanks again for your help. Oh, okay. Leeches it is. I preferred you to kill Draco Malfoy, but whatever. Yeah, that Malfoy boy. Oh, he loves just casting stuff off in the air. He's, he's, it's, his, it's his special trick. You know, people with special shit like spinging, stuff like that. Malfoy, it's causing mayhem and stuff flying in the air. Anyway, it's back to Hogwarts. Hagrid's lost all his money on the casino and the beer. And he just wants to cry. Well done getting all the ingredients I asked for. Did you manage to get any powdered horn of bicorn? Yes, but I had to sneak into Snape's office last night to get it. She wouldn't get me creeping about in Snape's office, especially at night. Yeah, you won't see you doing anything, would we, Rob? Because you bloody lazy. And here are the boom slang but skin, it's just, they're just from crumbs. Leeches. How long until the polyjuice potion's ready? I'm afraid we still need some extra ingredients. Something from Crab and Goyle. I've already managed to get some hair from Millicent Bulstrode. Who? I hope you're not saying that you're going to turn us into crab go on Millicent Bulstrode. Do you hasn't happened yet, so well, I don't know how she's got them, but here, the here we go. Trusts. He'll tell them anything. You do want to find out where the Malfoy's heir of Slytherin, don't you? Of course we do. I just hope that the Polyjuice potion will wear off. That's all. Of course it will. Ron, I think you should try and steal some hair from Crab and Goyle after lunch. Why don't you do it? And how do you know what we like to do? Come on, Ron. Let's leave Hermione to prepare the potion. Harry's like, let's get out of here. I'm sick of my bossing us about, buddy, bitch. So here it is, Chamber of Secrets. Let's get in there. Stop it all. Kill the basilisk. Boom. Game over. Thanks for watching. It's a girl's bathroom. You're not a girl. Get out. Excuse me? My life was nothing How do you know? Misery at this place. It's got short air. And now people are coming along, ruining my death. How blind were you, Myrtle? Them glasses are huge, like... It's like what 90-year-old Betty wears in the 1950s and stuff. Jesus Christ. Blind as a bat you were. How did you even see the basilisk to die? <laughs> If you see him through your glasses, is that technically seeing them? Hmm. I've found a loophole there. Hogwarts is like a maze. I suggest you follow the carpet if you want to get back to the common room. It's not really. I is suppose it, Rob? I'd best get some hair from Crab and Goyle. Yeah, I suppose you'd be best because you're the being asked to. Later. Jesus Christ, Rob. You don't just do what you want, mate. You know that. You, if you ask to do something, you do it. So, yeah, you best do it. God. So yeah, I don't know, like, Harry's just going, like, oh, let's go for a walk around Hogwarts, you know, go back to the common room, have some good old fun. You know, no general plan, to be honest, but there we go. Down the stairs we go here. Plop, plop, plop. So we're now we're in, wow. Oh, now we're in. I wonder how long. And now we're in a half left of the game. How, how long... Ah, you've looked it up, so it's, so it's not just, yeah, like I say, people, you know, it's crazy, you know, when you just think, oh, I must be the only person who thinks that, and when you search up, there's like 50,000 posts on Reddit and Harry, stuff like that, it's like, oh, never mind, at least there's an answer. Home. They've enrolled in the dueling club. Then what are I you doing here? Teaching it. 
Let's hope it's not Lockhart. I've had enough of him for one day. You've not seen him today. We've just been dying. How are you, moron? Like, does this game think it takes place over one day or something? <sighs> Crazy game. Um, but yeah, uh, that's at least I know the answer now, John. You cannot look. You can look at Basilisk through glasses. Because, yeah. Um, so yeah, we're going down with Dueling Club. And if you know the story, Chamber 6, you know what happens. Yada, yada. Draco Malfoy again. Going, oh, scary Potter. Yada, yada. Beat him. Yada, yada. Snake. Justin Floyd Fletcher going, what, what do you think you're playing at? Yada, yada. He ends up petrified. So we get for pissing off Harry Potter, mate. Oh god, I thought we'd lost Rob. Never Harry, mind. Have you heard? Malfoy's in the great Yeah, hall. that's what I've come here for. Challenging everybody to a duel. Yeah, and no one's beaten him yet. Well, you're wrong, you society. You with him, Harry. I hear you're pretty good. Not pretty Go good, on, mate. Harry. I'm the best. I'm sure you can beat him. It'll be great to wipe that smile off his slimy slithering face. Out of all the slitherings, who do you think actually has a slimy face? Like an actual slime. I'm, I'm going Snape. He's got. I bet he's got your know, greasy hair, slimy face. Yeah, I'm going Snape for slimy, slivering face. If it isn't the great Harry Potter, fancy a duel? I'm something of an expert. All right, on, Mr. Harry, Osborne, something of a scientist. The candles, Green Goblin They've here. Got special jinxes in them. Trust me, you're going to need all the help you can get. Man, get I don't need ready. any help at all. You are the most useless person in the world, Malfoy. <laughs> I'm not being funny. I don't know how you haven't lost yet. Your dad's probably paying everyone off, but I'm so rich, I don't need to be paid off to let you win. I'm going to beat your ass and I'm going to embarrass you. Hit my candle. Hit my candle. It's too late now. I'll beat you. Goes to Harry Potter. Thank you, Mr. Commentator Lockhart. So as a kid, this is the furthest I used to get. I could never be. So in the next part where you fight the snake, I could never get past the snake. As a kid, well, I, could, I, I did a few times, but normally I just couldn't beat the snake. I don't obviously like five year old me just the snake was just too hard. You're that bad, Malfoy. I didn't need to use a single special jinx on you. You are pathetic. You're the worst ever. If you think that makes you the winner, you've got another thing coming. Try this, Potter. Serpent sort ya. No, oh, a little snake, that's not too bad at least. Oh he's using gorgeous on it, never mind. It's not a little snake anymore. So yeah, I've barely got any health, so I'm actually scared I might die. So I just sort of, my tactic here is just go left, right, left, right, left, right, and hope you avoid it. I've got no actual tactic. I've just got to, the praying hope tactic of, hopefully it misses me. And if it does, perfect. If it doesn't, we just keep praying it misses, it misses next time. Oh God, but so far so good. It's, yeah, it's nice and easy in terms of propendering it. It's just hit, try, hit, try to avoid its venom. It's a bit annoying. So yeah, we've got the green goblin and we've got some venom. <laughs> you know, I'm guessing we can call this one venom. There we go. I think I can hit, you know, I think there's three more hits on the snake. I can be hit like twice more. It's a bit nervy. It's a bit tight. I don't like it, but we'll keep going. Oof. Haha, -ha, last hit, and we've done it. Woohoo! And of course, because it's Chamber of Secrets, it's another bloody storybook. Might as well just have the full game on this. Jesus. Hissing furiously, the snake slithered towards Justin Finch Fletchley. Leave him alone, Harry shouted. At least, that was what he thought he'd shouted. When he looked up at Justin, he was met with an angry look. What do you think you're playing at? The snake was lying slumped on the floor, docile as a thick black garden hose. So why was Justin, and everybody else for that matter, regarding him with a look of horror? You're a parcel mouth, Harry. Why didn't you tell us? Harry didn't know what a parcel mouth was, so Ron told him. <laughs> you can talk to snakes, Harry. Hermione informed Harry that being able to talk to snakes was what Salazar Slytherin was famous for. 
and how the whole school was now going to think that he, Harry Potter, was the heir of Slytherin, and therefore responsible for the attacks. At least no one might... At least everyone will stop talking Dumbledore to me. Wasn't in his office when Harry got there. Why are we in it's Dumbledore's office? It, again, it's just like the Charing Cross like flying car. It's just not explained at all. As like, we, just in Fletcher Fletcher thing completely cut out. It's like, yeah, we're in, we're in, we're in the office now. Put you in the right hearts. But I stand by what I said before. You would have done well in Slytherin. Harry's heart plummeted. He told the hat he thought it was wrong. And then a strange gagging noise behind him made him wheel around. Harry yelled in shock as the bird burst into flames, only to emerge from the fire more beautiful than it was before. Then the office what? door opened. That's not how a phoenix works. Bursting into flames, it's reborn from the ashes. Hawks, the phoenix. And it's, it's a little very ugly very bird thing. Stupid PS1 Harry game. Nodded, still shocked by the sight of the bird bursting into flames. Dumbledore explained how phoenixes were fascinating creatures. They can carry immensely heavy loads, and they make highly faithful pets. Dumbledore went on to say that he didn't believe Harry was the attacker plaguing Hogwarts, and he asked if Harry had anything that he wanted to tell him. Harry thought of the disembodied voice he'd heard, and his growing dread that he was connected to Salazar Slytherin. But in the Jim end, Dale really is a bunch of Stephen Fry. 100% agree there. So yeah, we were in Dumbledore's office for unknown reason. Um, and now it's time to confront Crab and Goyle. Now that everyone knows you're a parcel mouth, they've convinced you're the heir of Slytherin. Yeah, thanks Rob. You don't think it's me, do you? Of course not. There's no way you're the heir, Harry. Thanks. If I were the heir, you'd be my first the target, Rob. And you prove that Malfoy's the heir of Slytherin. That way we can clear your name. Ron, did you manage to get some hair from Crab and Goyle? Yes, I did. <laughs> Let I'll me guess, you. it wasn't too it easy. Wasn't easy. Oh, of course it wasn't. I'm sure I've done it for you, <laughs> Never right? bloody is. Once you've drunk the potion, Useless there won't be much boy. time before we turn back. Now what? We each have some of the potion, add the hairs, and then drink it. I'm still not sure about this. Ready? Ready? As I'll ever be. One, two, three. We like to drink with Harry, because Harry is our mate. And when we drink with Harry, he gets it down free, apparently. Wow, it even comes with Are magic you robes. Right? Yeah, unbelievable. Hermione, are you okay? Fine, I'm fine. Go on without me. Well, that doesn't sound like someone who's fine. Sure. Better be Gryffindor. It's actually the most painful thing in the world listening to these two speakers, Crab and Goyle, go, Ooh. Hi, Bjorn. Oh, was it good news? So, yeah, this part it is infuriating. Listening to them, having to control them. If I still had my Xbox controller, that doesn't work. I don't think we'd be able to do this part. <laughs> it just wouldn't work. Okay. I won't try jumping across I won't gap. try and be parkour We'd like a crazy parkour the person. The, the, the effects of a polyjuice potion will wear off in about four seconds with you two speaking like this. We won't finish this conversation by the time it wears off. Oh, I'm gonna, I'll am going. i probably watch the trailer after this, or if they release one for it. Um, oh god, Ron, you clumsy little loser. The polyjuice potion will wear off by the time you get your lard ass off the floor. Jesus, uh, this music's good, it's intense. Uh, but yeah, like, just how heavy it actually feels. They do such a good job because in all the other versions, you Goyle doesn't feel different. Um, but in this version, He's, he's like a truck, he's like a tank. The way you control him, um, it's oh, it's, it's so it's so big and heavy and just awkward. And just when you're running like on these parts here where there's death defying black holes, um, it's just weird um, to have them. I mean, it's weird to have them, it's just hard. But yeah, like why, why do the sliverings are subjective to such terrible 
living conditions. No one ever so miserable. Imagine having to do this and run past death defying knights trying to kill you. You know, death defying holes are in death killing knights. It makes no sense whatsoever. Um, it feels like George, he is, he's coming for you, he's going to eat you. You know, like this big fat bugger, he's going to eat you all. It's like hungry, hungry hippos. This part is the worst, having to control the camera and Goyle. God, he doesn't turn well. But with my PS5 controller, it's actually feeling quite... It's feeling more nimble than ever. Um, the, the triggers of the PS5 controller are so good compared to any other controller. Honest, it's beautiful just using my PS5. These triggers are amazing controlling the camera. Oh, it's, it's beautiful. I can't wait to play the rest of the games using this controller, to be honest. It feels... It's just such a breath of fresh air. Not having to struggle um, and just being frustrated. But this part is my worst part. I've fallen so many times here. But not today. Not today. We've almost got there. We've almost done it. I will say, oh no, out of all the Crab and Goyle, so the, P, the PC one's the best. Then it goes this one, then the PS2 one. The PS2 mission, it's fun to get points taken off, slivering, but it's the actual mission itself, just walking out of the dungeon where it's all tiny and small, there you are. is a bit boring. Have you two been pigging out in the Great Hall all this time? How did you know? People seem to think that St. Potter, the Mudblood's friend, is the heir of Slytherin. I wish I knew who it really is. I could help them. What could you, you possibly do to help, Malfoy? You're useless. You know I haven't, Goyle. How many times do I have to tell you? At least one more, one please. Thing. Last time the Chamber of Secrets was opened, a mudblood died. This so music doesn't fit the telling of this story, of does it? It's like... Da, 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 da. He's talking about someone dying. <laughs> Not cool, mate. Not cool at all. Like, there's a line and you crossed it, Malfoy. I've got to come punch your stupid facing. Mark my words. Get out! This is a girl's bathroom. No boys allowed in here. She's gone mental! She's gone mental! So it's a bit like Peeves and the troll fight put into one this one. Um, again, it's a bit useless. It's just another mini game to sort of pad out the game. You can you can actually hit Myrtle even though she's a ghost. She'll be like, ow! Ah! Boomerang! So you just got to protect yourself till the timer runs out. It's not like you're fighting Myrtle, you're just defending yourself till the polyjuice portion wears off. Nice and easy. Oh no, you don't. Uh, what were you throwing at me? Get away! Yeah, exactly. That room, like, it's not even a. You know, I, know, I know this wasn't a slivering common room you were actually in, but that, that room, it's just it's just a little storage room, isn't it? And it's like there in the PS2. You know, yeah, just don't like it all. The PC version, though, really, really good. Come on, just time's up. Harry, turn back into yourself. It's you playing a trick on me. Almost as funny as throwing a book at me. Let's now that's well more funny. At Myrtle because she can't feel it. Fifty points if I go through your head. I, I think so. Here, why don't you have it? So I can throw it through your head for fifty points. Sure thing, Myrtle. That was the worst throw I've ever seen. It's like, uh, uh. I mean, it's pretty amazing she could pick it up being a ghost and all, but still, rubbish throw. I'm glad we changed back. I didn't like being crab one bit. Yeah, being wrong's way I'm better, isn't went. it? I, I prefer to crab than wrong. Potion. Actually, no, a crab dies, so maybe not. <laughs> We've got a letter. You haven't wrong. No one loves you. Harry, I'm very displeased that you missed my new defense against the dark arts class. To be a successful wizard, you have to study with the best. Come along to my office for a private lesson. Professor Gilderoy Lockhart. How did we miss a lesson? Looks like you're we did the Crab and Goyle thing at night. Remember what? That Lock When's he having these lessons? Castle. I thought it was bad enough with everyone thinking I was the heir of Slytherin. A private lesson with Lockhart 
is much worse. <laughs> nah, if that's I'm true, Harry, it'd be fair. Very true. I wonder what went wrong with her potion and where she went. All right, go find your girlfriend, Ron. Ooh, the PC was probably the Earth's glorification. Yeah, Slytherin Common like again is pretty beautiful. Do love the Slytherin Common room in the game. So here we go. There's some boys here. They better not be talking about me behind my back because who Everyone's why is this? saying that Potter's the heir of Slytherin. Potter's a parcel now. Everyone knows that's the mark of a dark wizard. Yeah, you better run away. I'm going to kill you all. Valkadavra, Valkadavra. Stupid slivering of traitor Gryffindor. Fraternising with the enemy. Who does he think he is? Disgusting. Oh, well. Off we go to learn Verdimilius again. It gets used a bit more in this game, Verdimilius duo. Still not loads. Right, Rum, told you once. I will tell you again. Just short with that voice. But in the Forbidden Forest section, you will use it quite a few times. So it's pretty useful. Uh, and obviously, we've got another button mashing, sort of a final button mashing spell lesson mini game. And if you get the 100% the, the, the A, sorry, this time, you get a wizard card. So it is important again, you've got to do it so we can go in that room. Yada yada. You you know the drill. Yeah, he did, didn't he? It would be shame to speak behind my back, the little loser. It's like him ordering a thing where he doesn't believe Harry. Pathetic. What do you Guess want, what, Ron? Harry? Her what? mom is in the hospital wing. The polys used potion turned her into a cat. Seems like the hair from Millicent wasn't from her at all. I hope Madame Pomfrey doesn't ask too many questions. Anyway, I suppose I should be going to the private lesson with Lockhart. I honestly don't know how she doesn't. Like, Madame Pomfrey is so, like, strict and stuff like that. She One, she doesn't ra recognise a dragon bite in the first one. And two, she, you know, the polyjuice thing. It's like, mate, you're, you're the school nurse. You should be recognising these things and be on them. You know, don't, not letting the kids lie to you. God, it's, it's just... You're a pushover, Pomfrey. A pushover. And it's gone from being daytiming out there to night timing here. What what is this magic? Anyway, into the office. And let's get this lesson done quickly. Ah, Harry, you finally made it. Terrible news about young Mr. Creevy being petrified. Not to mention poor Mrs. Norris. No need to worry though, as your defense against the dark arts teacher, I'll save the day. Watch my expensive wand as it moves and press the symbols it points to. Do this three times and you will learn Verdimilius Duo. And if I don't do it all and I don't want to learn this spell, can I just go? Perfection! Oh dear. Very stylish. <laughs> just like me. It caught me out. I can't believe it caught me out. I'm just going to die. Don't worry, I'm just going to die and we're just going to do it again. That's Oops. The easy one. Ready now? Perfection! Splendid! Splendid! Perfection! Can't believe I fell for that. I'm actually so annoyed because I got 100 percent there. I don't know if I get 200 percent it'll be enough. We'll see. It one probably go. won't be. Get ready. We may have to just kill Harry Splendid. and just do this again. Very stylish. <laughs> Just like me. Very stylish. <laughs> Just like me. Oh god, that was a failure. That's like eighty-two percent. Seventy-nine percent. I don't think it was that bad. Oh god. Right, I'm just gonna kill you myself. If you yeah. No, don't worry, Lockhart. We're just gonna start this all again. Now, once cut. Nope. Bye, look hard. You didn't give me the grid I wanted, so I'm killing myself. You should have known this was going to happen. Oh, I don't feel too good. <laughs> CDA. Um, you know what? I don't actually know. You know what? You know when we do it this time, I'm gonna think about that. I feel like I just watch the screen. Oh, Harry, you yes. No need to worry, watch my okay, yeah. We, we we do have to worry if your defense against dark arts teacher. Are you ready? I think I follow it. Perfection. Splendid. 
Splendid! 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 That was awful as well. Like, what was that? That's like 80. That could be 79% again. It is. That's yeah, you know, so I do follow it about. Ready now? Oh my god. Dear, dear. Right, I don't even really care. Oh dear. <laughs> I've had a meltdown. Oh god. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Right, get set up. Thirty-seven percent. One more to go. Get ready. Splendid. 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 Oh God. See, I mean, if I could just get ninety-one percent on all, I'd be happy. Um. Let's kill myself again. Lockhart, you're driving me to suicide once again. It's not good, Lockhart. You should be sat for this. Force me through this torture. <laughs> yeah, he should only be teaching me that spell. Um, I'd, I'd use it on him and then push him in this black hole. <laughs> um, I don't know why I wouldn't just push him in the black hole. I want to wipe his memory first of all. I feel like that's appropriate for him. So yeah, use Obliviate on him, push him in a black hole. That'd just be perfect. Right, let's try this once more. Watch my Yes! Are you ready? I am. Perfection! Splendid! Perfection! Splendid! There we go, 96%. Not hard, is it? It's not hard. I've made it. I've made a pig's meal out of this. But there we go. 96% start off That's with. The easy one. We try yeah. again. Very stylish. <laughs> Just like me. Splendid! Very stylish. I can't wait to get this one complete so I never have to. Very stylish. Just like me. Splendid. It gives you a headache after a while. Oh, God. One more to go. Get ready. Perfection. Splendid. Very stylish. Just like me. Okay, I think that was 89%, 87% maybe, but that should still be enough to get the A. I've scraped an A there, yeah, 87%. Scraped the A, but classes are done, we've unlocked the spell, we've got the card, it's all happy days. We never have to do a PS1 button mashing spell challenge ever again. Thank the Lord. Crispin Cronk. He kept uh, sphinxes in his back garden, because he's a crazy bugger. And so to business. And so to business. Time to put the spell you've learned to practical use. Now, Harry, hold down the X button to cast a fully charged Verdimilius duo spell. Once cast, the spell will show you objects hidden by dark magic. Use what you find to. Not on that one. I having Herbology and Defense Against Dark Arts normal class. I have got three 100%s before, but not on this one. Um, Harry, never on this one. Godric Where's Ga I want to show you Crispin Cronk. Here he is. Crispin Cronk, sent to Azkaban for keeping sphinxes in his back garden. Perfect. Right, here we go. Oh no, don't fall, don't fall. Okay, fall, you bloody moron. God, Harry. Oh, right. What is happening? What is happening? What are these blood... What is this bloody idiot doing? I thought I was going to be okay with my blooming um, PS5 controller, but obviously not. Obviously not. Okay, that's just Harry being a moron. Like, just climb up, you idiot. Come on. Oh, God, we're up. We're going to turn unsolid soon. Harry, run. And then here too, and then game done. Not game done, class done. We can move on and hopefully never have to see Lockhart again.
I thought the cutscene was started. Excellent, Harry! I knew you would do it! I'll have to watch myself in a few years' time, or you'll be stealing my job. Now, run along. Tomorrow is Valentine's Day, and I have something very special planned. How is tomorrow Valentine's Day? We just did the polyjuice on Christmas Day. This game jumps around. Absolutely crazy. I just... What the... What is the time scale on this game? And we can now just relax. So this Valentine's Day thing is quite fun, but again, it's something ripped from Foster Stone, like the Troll Trace. Um, the take from there. So we've sort of got like a rip-off version with the uh, good old Cupids, and I, I do love getting caught by them. So we'll definitely hear their song. Don't you worry. Um, but I, yeah, I'm just happy we don't have to do another one of those stupid button bashing mini games because I hate them so much. Hufflepuff. Slytherin. Yeah, I reckon. What do you think? There's an hour and a half left, an hour left of the game. Gryffindor. Probably an hour and a half, isn't there? Gryffindor are in the lead. I don't know. You know. So what? This next part takes what two minutes? Let's say. Then. Get into the Forbidden Forest, doing Forbidden Forest, that's probably like 20 minutes. So that's what, that's 25 minutes, let's say. Yeah, I'd say an hour and a half. It takes us to nine o'clock. Not too bad. Happy Valentine's Day, Harry! How many cards have you received? So far, I've only received um, 46. And how many have you but written to yourself, you weirdo? I've arranged a little surprise for you and the rest of the students at Hogwarts. My friendly card carrying cupids! Oh, you, Harry Potter, stay there. I've got a musical message to deliver to you. Valentine's cards. Ugh, keep away from me! Oh, God. Oh, you, Harry Potter. We're gonna get caught. His eyes are green as a fresh pickle toad. His hair is as dark as a blackboard. I wish he was mine, he's really alive. The hero who conquered the dark world. I love that. I, they do obviously the voice of the Cupids. It's it's what Stephen Fry did. He made them sound like that in the book. So I like how they carried it on in here as well. But yeah, it's just a brilliant, brilliant song. We got the beautiful uh, music. See, yeah, like, uh, the voice. It's just weird. The voices don't fit at all. But yeah, Stephen Fry did it in the book, and it is just hilarious. Like just so random that Stephen Fry made him sort of like, "Oh, you, Harry Potter," and <laughs> some like angry little men. So yeah, it's beautiful, playful music. Yeah, I love this music. It's a bit more fun. There's not a terrifying troll coming for you. Just some annoying little cupids. So yeah, it's a bit less serious, but still obviously based on that. Uh, there's no... Instead of like green sludge, there's now death defying black holes because Hogwarts just loves a, a death defying black hole. Oh. Keep away from me. Oh no. Stupid things. And the last one now. Let's survive this and we can all go home. No, so I won't call it Yorkshire. What? What? I don't go. Oh, you. Harry Potter. It's not really cockney because I'm putting on a bit of cockney on there. Oh, you. It's like a Lancashire. It, it, what do you say? Burnley? I don't know. Like a Lancashire accent. Yeah, I'm not too sure there. I'm not too sure at all. But who cares? Because we've done it, and we can sit back and enjoy Harry, enjoy a book about Harry and a book, reading a book inside a book about a book. I I don't know. There's a lot of books here. Just enjoy it. Harry flicked through the blank pages of the diary. Then he pulled out a bottle of scarlet ink, dipped his quill into it, and dropped a blot onto the first page. Excited, Harry loaded up his quill and wrote, "My name is Harry Potter." Then at last, something happened. Oozing back out of the page came words Harry had never written. Harry nearly upset his ink bottle, and then more words appeared on the page. I know all about the Chamber of Secrets. Fifty years ago, the chamber was opened and a girl was killed. I caught the person who opened the chamber all those years ago. Harry paused for a second and then wrote two letters. O. Oh. Okay. 
The pages of the diary began to blow as though caught in a high wind, and then the diary seemed to open up, and Harry was pitched headfirst into the opening. Harry saw that he was standing in a corridor in Hogwarts dungeons. Peering through a crack made by an open door was a boy of about 16. Harry knew at once that this was Tom Riddle, the owner of the diary. Then Harry heard someone speaking in a low whisper. Come on, we gotta get you out of here. Come on now, in the box. The voice definitely belonged to Hagrid, who, Harry now saw, was crouching down in front of a large box. Riddle suddenly stepped out from the doorway. Evening, Rubeus. It's all over. I'm going to have to turn you in. The least Hogwarts can do is make sure the thing that killed that girl is slaughtered. The young Hagrid rose up to his full height and roared at the top of his voice. It wasn't him! He wouldn't! He never! And then, from out of the box came something that made Harry let out a long, piercing scream, unheard by anyone. A vast, little baby Hag Harry. God, it's only a little spider. Grow up. Of many eyes and a pair Sorry of if you ask how spiders hang on people are, but Harry isn't so wise. He's screaming. It makes no sense. <laughs> He's literally about to go into a no! forest full of them and take on the, the big world. daddy spider. The so screaming here makes no Harry sense whatsoever. Later, Harry met up with Ron and Hermione. What's up? Harry could barely get the words out of his mouth. What's this? It was Hagrid, Ron. Oh, I don't Hagrid know. Hagrid opened the Chamber of Secrets 15 years ago. He's going to do a little jazz, jazz hands. Oh, God. And once again, you've guessed it. We're doing a mini game that's taken from... Or an, an area of the game that's taken from Foster Stone and reskinned for Chamber of the Secrets. So we're sneaking to Hagrid's hut instead of a forest. The so, wrong yeah. Person. Maybe it was some other monster that was attacking people. Hagrid would never have meant to kill anybody. Except We've you. always known that Hagrid was expelled. I'm Harry. The I'm Harry Potter. School is for losers. I'm going to the library. I'm wrong. See if I can find information on oh, Tom Riddle. Anymore. And while I'm there, why don't both of you go and see Hagrid? And why do you always happens? boss me about Hermione? it? Do some work for once yourself. God. Not being funny. You sort of deserve to be petrified this game because you're a bit of a bitch. You better be careful, Ron. We're not meant to be out in the grounds after dark. You say that now when we're already At out. Least you can use your invisibility cloak to avoid being seen. That's fair, Rob. <laughs> He's like, At least you can use your invisibility cloak. I can't do anything. Yeah, it's my invisibility cloak, Rob. I know it works. You just need to charm a nearby object onto them. Who does Rob think he is <laughs> telling me what to do? Harry never meant to kill anything except no, and and Quirrell. Don't don't forget Quirrell. He he wanted to kill Quirrell. He went back for seconds after he saw nice he could one, hurt him. I'll meet you at Guy's a psychopath. Oh, PS1 Aragorn's just weird looking like, yeah. So, with this, like I say, because it is based off Foster Stone, the first one is literally the first room in Foster Stone. You know that first one where you jump from one bookcase to the other? But, outside area, instead of bookcases, you've got like these bushes. Um, honestly, the run I did without the invisibility cloak is ha it is so much harder, this one, compared to Full of Storm. Especially towards the end. Oh no, Hagrid's lo Harry's lost his high his deep voice. He's like, we got him, let me Elsa. He's gone back to that annoying little thing now. God, the cloak was flashing, but I almost got caught. Bloody hell, Harry. Gotta be careful. This is probably my favourite one, just because how easy it is, but it's also a bit different. The rest is just a bit hard and annoying, to be honest. So, come up here. Snape's just down there, deaf as a doorknob. Thankfully, these wizards can't just look up. You know, they, they've got to be looking like this at all times. Because if they looked up, they'd see Harry, and we'd be a bit buggered. Um, so, on to here. Drop that on the floor. Drop that. Give me some more, I'm sure. Oh, sorry, I meant Hagrid. Um, oh, yeah, that makes more sense. You have a flesh eating slug repellent. Um, yeah, and I'm trying to think if there's another thing Hagrid wanted to kill. And Malf and Malfoy, because Malfoy's Who's a little shit. Everyone's killed Malfoy. Everybody hates Malfoy. You know, like that song, Everybody loves Ned Flanders, except everybody hates Draco Malfoy. 
So on the third room, you know, we've had Filch, we've had Snape, Upstep, Professor McGonagall with, Who's there? Who's there? It sounds nothing like Maggie Smith whatsoever, but there we go. Who's there? Drop it down. Door unlocked. Then, what I like to do, I stay here, wait for it to turn, then quickly run onto here. Who's there? Who's there? Right. Then she's got to either walk back down there or walk down here. Which one's she going? Oh, sugar. I almost jumped off then. She tricked me. Bloody Maggie says saggy myth. <laughs> Bloody saggy myth. Right, this is the one I hate the most. This is my most hated room. Or area. It's not a room because we're outside. Um, but when we filch and snip, I just hate this one. See anyone, Mr. Filch? No! No. I know you're there. If only I could look up and see you. <laughs> so with this one, you've just got to be patient. Patience is the game that we will play. Basically, we're going to let Snape wander down there. And then... He's got to turn... Filch is going to turn around. Then when he starts walking down there... Just run up for the clock, grab it, and then sprint down this way. It's the only one I have a bit of trouble with, but all the others are fine. Wingardium Leviosa! Wingardium Leviosa! Drop it here. Door clicks open, and then quickly climb onto here. Because again, we've just got to wait. You'll wait it all out. Probably have a little nap while we wait, like... <sighs> Come on. He's gone. Go on, Snape. Bugger off, please. And yeah, you just see Filch's light, his lamp there. And then, yeah, when he starts to fade away, run down once again, grab the cloak, and just run past Filch. Ha ha ha, stupid Filch. On to the last room or area. Start with McGonagall. She's there like that. Who's there? Who's there again? Who is there? If I could only look up. I'm sta you're staring right at me, Maggie. Uh, Professor McConigal. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh dear. Right, grab the cloak. And then you've got Snape here. Just run down to this end. Quick, quick, quick. This what you want to do? Different image on it. Yes, it's got. No objects to charm. Oh my god. What will I do? So what you want to do, while Snape's down there, wait about five seconds and then step on it. Because it will do a video, Snape's walking down there, but he's going to turn back around there. I've timed this perfectly. So the door opens up. And basically you've got about 30 seconds to run down there. Oh god no, maybe I haven't timed it perfectly. Oh no! Ah! You bastard! No! Oh! You cruel, cruel bastard. Oh, for crying out loud. That is awful. That is horrible. Right. We've got to wait here again now because Snape's going to go walk down there. How dare he? I mean, how dare it? I was there. How dare it shut on me? Right. 
Yeah, I don't need a camera. I know where the door is. It's there. I've timed it wrong here because Snape's gonna Snape's gonna catch me if I go out. So I'm probably have to wait again. Oh, I'm so annoyed. It's gonna happen again. It's gonna happen again. Right in my face. Look again. Oh. Right. Go wait for Snape just to go down there and then be walking out just so we can make it. That's so annoying. <laughs> I feel like I'm being overly cautious here and um, that's what's messing it up. Right, now. wide open let's go for it there we go nice and easy this time don't you dare slam in my face Hagrid's hut here we are runs here too all back together shame it's he's here Shh. someone's talking to Hagrid yet again Cornelius I tell you that taking Hagrid away will not help in the slightest that must be Cornelius Fudge. Shh! You just told me to shush! Magic. And yet so you're wappling your fucking big Quiet mouth, you idiot! Wrong. Shut Look up! Look at it from my point of view, Albus. I'm under a lot of pressure. Got to be seen to be doing something. If it turns out it wasn't Hagrid, he'll be back and no more said. So, where am I going? Premier going Where do you think you're going, you moron? It's not prison! Punishment. More a precaution. If someone else is caught, you'll be let out with a full apology. I hope a lot of moolah fudge. Azkaban. Come along now, Hagrid. If anyone wanted to find out some stuff, all they'd have to do would be to follow the spiders. That'd lead them right. That's all I'm saying. Thankfully, Dumbledore doesn't get ex uh, suspended in this one, you know, so he doesn't have to use his wise right. words of hey, be careful, we'll be always given to Hogwarts to those heard. who ask for it. You know, um, all that crap. But yeah, so it's just Hagrid, he's off to Azkaban. Dumbledore's like, come on, mate, get your ass on. Get a move on. And for the second year in a row, Harry's going into the Forbidden Forest just because he's such a badass. And it has improved since last year. It's a bit bigger. Yes, I know what he said, Harry. I've not got dementia. Um, bigger, better, crazier. More stuff to do. Uh, and more enemies to face. No more Super Ninja Turtles or more spiders and snails. Which is a shame because who didn't love the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles? I certainly did. So, down here we go. Run, run, run. And we get to use our Verdi Milius. Verdi Milius! All the way across. And we should have some spiders waiting for us here. Or oh, one spider. We certainly do. So, what you got to do? Wait for him to start trying to fire there. I'm, I'm guessing it's supposed to be red. I don't know what it's supposed to be. There we go. It doesn't matter because he's dead. That's all that matters. We killed a spider because I am Harry Potter and I'm an absolute psychopath. Wow, you can spider with terrible aim. Did you know that? Absolute terrible aim. They should have got respect savers, King. Look <laughs> their aim is absolutely pathetic. Oh god. Right, and then we run along here, run run run. Through the door. And there's some more snails to welcome us into this forbidden forest. Yep, bloody. -y. Right. And then down here we go. Oh you bastards! I'm gonna get hurt! Probably should make the potion that's a bit back there, but oh well. We have a beautiful waterfall. Where I point, look upon the waterfall and you shall see the light. A little riddle. Just stand where I point and you will see the light. I do, I see the little twinkling light. Isn't that beautiful? It's a Verdemilius and then we can jump along the waterfall. 
crazy, crazy architecture, you know, like sort of thing to have at Hogwarts or waterfall. There we go. Just the type of place Hogwarts is, isn't it? Crazy, crazy place. Yeah, keep taking on them. Grab them. And let's go into the... You do get... I always just think, again, this was like a lot bigger than it actually is. Like, you do get through the forest quite quickly. Um, it's quite... It's not as long as I thought it was for some strange reason. I used to always think it was this massive, amazing place. So this part's important. When you come out here, um, Verdimilli is this because... Basically, it's a secret area. Uh, and in this secret area is the card. And it's not just any card. No, no, no. It's Albus Dumbledore. We've got a giant spider now. Not just any spider, a giant one. Acriomantula of sorts, I'm guessing. Thankfully, there is a portion here as well, so let's make it square, triangle, let's circle, uh, blah, 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 blah. I love the sound effect for it, it's beautiful. Drink up Harry Potter. So anyone got any fun plans for a weekend, anything like that? I don't think you are know, up. Anything fun going on for you guys? Albus Dumbledore. Albus Dumbledore. Does he like chamber music and temping bowling and all that Godric stuff anymore? Gaspar. No, he bloody Albus doesn't. Gaspar. You know what he does? Albus he, he's just the headmaster of Hogwarts. Headmaster of Hogwarts. Basic bitch he is. God. Makes me sad. Anyway, let's finish off the forest. Yeah, we probably will have like an hour of the game left in it. Yeah, it'll probably be a three hour screen this, thinking about it. It takes about 20 minutes to do all the sort of like extras to finish it off. And then what, half an hour for the Chamber of Secrets? So not a bad stream at all. Not a bad stream at all. I'm having a lazy weekend this weekend, don't you worry. Yeah, I'm. At, I don't. I mean, I might go out for a drink on Saturday. I'll probably have a drink after work tomorrow. Just one. Get the tray. Um, and then yeah, just Saturday. And then I am watching football Sunday. I might be watching it with a friend Saturday, but uh, definitely got to watch it Sunday. So yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna be chilling. I'm play, I've got obviously, like I said, I've really got over Clone Wars recently. Um, so I, like I said, I tried to give it a chance a few years ago, but I gave up on it. Um, but I'm back into it. I'm, I'm in a Star Wars-y sort of mood at the moment. Um, I, there's so many shows I need to uh, catch up on. Um, honestly, I've not watched the new series of The Mandalorian yet, Series 3. You know, like, but I've heard it is pretty crap with like Jack Black and stuffing and uh, the, you know, the single, what she called? Um, no, what she called? The Black Singer. Um, it was a bit of controversy at the moment. But yeah, her. It does look a bit crap. I need to catch up. I've not watched any of Andor or Ahsoka, so I'm trying to catch up on Star Wars. So hopefully I'll be doing that. But I'm really enjoying um, the Clone Wars at the moment. So I'm at season. F it is not in order, so I've got the Star Wars website up of like what order to watch it in, and I'm actually loving it, having having an amazing time with it. So this part is just the craziest part. Remember when there were trolls in the dungeon? I was like, what's that about? Well, we've now got trolls in the forest, and once again, it's like. What the bloody hell is that about? Like, why have we got trolls in the forest? That makes no sense whatsoever. Um, absolutely crazy stuff. So you've just got to avoid them. If they see you, they just growl like really griffle. And just throw a paddy and then... Like that. Throw a paddy and chuck you out, which is annoying. Because they've literally just chucked me at the start of where, where they were. I don't know why. I didn't even get seen then. Anyway, let that one turn its back. Then run, run, run. And you can actually get past this one. You don't get hiding there. All you need to do is this. Not that. That's embarrassing. God. You're in my, pit, in my actual walkthrough. So yeah, Jack Black's in an episode of The Mandalorian. And I forgot the... What is the singer's name? Oh, it's going to annoy me, this. Um, she sings like... She's like a pop singer. Um, she's a bit... She's a bit large, you know, a bit fat. Um, I think it begins with a C, but I could be wrong. I can picture her face and everything. I can hear her voice, um, but I just can't 
think of a bleeding name. It's going to, it's going to annoy me. But yeah, he's in an episode of The Mandalorian, uh, which is absolutely crazy to me. That is an episode of The Mandalorian. But there we go. But he plays it like a really goofy, stupid character. Apparently, it just doesn't flow well at all with Star Wars, and it's one of the worst episodes of The Mandalorian. But I could be wrong. Like I said, I've not watched it. Um, so yeah, I need to catch up on that. Uh, I, I, obviously, I've heard Andor is absolutely brilliant, so I really do want to watch Andor. Um, again, I wasn't a massive fan of Rogue One. Like it was a good film. I liked um, I liked Krennic, but other than that, I mean, I mean, Cassian Andor is cool, but he wasn't like a character. Where I was like, oh my god, I want to watch more. Like really wanted to watch more of him. But yeah, uh, I'm excited to watch watch that. Uh, I hope that's really good. Loving the Clone Wars at the moment. I need to watch Rebels as well because I've never watched Rebels. It's always on Disney XD, but I've never watched it. I thought it was a kids' thing, but apparently not. So yeah, I've seen clips of it, like where Darth Maul dies by Ben Kenobi again for like the fiftieth time. <laughs> but yeah, there we have it, and that's what I mean. A bit of Star Wars Kenobi didn't make sense to me because of Rebels, like the Inquisitor and stuff. I didn't know about that. So made it past all the trolls, and it's now time to confront. A crazy angry little um, spider who's not so little actually that is Aragog who is it sounds like a pterodactyl who is it I'm a friend of Hagrid's huh? Hagrid's in trouble that's why I came. In trouble. I don't but understand. Why has he sent you? They've taken him to Azkaban. Like, why would the spider know who Azkaban is? <laughs> I come from a distant land. A traveler gave me to Hagrid when I was an egg. He cared for me, kept me in a cupboard, and fed me. When I was blamed for the death of the girl, Hagrid protected me. Now, I live in the forest. So do you know what did kill her? The thing that lives in the castle is an ancient creature we spiders fear above all others. We don't speak its name. Okay, I'll just go then. Go! I think not. Okay, but Lizzo, that's the singer I was thinking of. Lizzo. But why, what is it with things in the Wizarding World and not speaking their name? It's so annoying, like, just speak the bloody name and it might help us. Like, no wonder we never know what things they are. Um, so what my tactic is for this boss fight you don't really fight Aragog per se, you just sort of destroy his sort of den. Is I try and attack the red and yellow one by myself, and then I have him run at the green and blue one. Oh, and you can pick whichever one you want him to run, that sort of thing. You, you don't actually have to have him run at these two. But this is just what I do. I attack these two, have him run at the other two. So, we're going to get him in position. Come on, mate. All your children are dead. Run at the green thing. Get stuck. He's saying, like, oh no, I broke it. I'm an idiot. And it's like, yeah, you are, mate. Well, well done. At least you know you are. Um, and then I'm going, I'm not going to take on these children spiders yet. Spider children, whatever you want to call them. Until the red and yellow one are defeated. It might get a bit much, but still. Um, that's just what I'm like. I'm a crazy guy like that. Come on. No, not the spiders, Harry. No, you're stuck in the web now, you moron. God, this boy. He's an idiot sometimes. It's like, Harry, why are you so stupid? There we go. Yellow one down. Yellow one down. Boom, boom, boom. Yellow one down. Okay, get this red one. I do prefer... I, you know what? I actually think this is the best boss fight in the out of the three. Like, the three Aragorn boss fights. It'd probably go this. PS2... PC, uh, obviously just fighting Aragog and stuff in that one, or uh, like just hitting him over and over again, it's a bit boring. This is at least a bit fun, a bit more tactical, I know it's a bit simple, but there we go. 
He did it, destroys his own home and then just scurries off. And you'd be thinking, great, this is my chance to escape, but not Harry freaking Potter. No, he's like, I must jump down and get all this. Like, what? No. No, you'd best not. But here we go. Who else would it be other than Ron Weasley? What are you doing here, mate? First time I've been glad to see you. The car screeched to a halt, and Harry dived inside. Hurry up, Ron! The door slammed shut, and Ron didn't need to touch the accelerator because the car was already speeding away. They sped out of the hollow, branches whipping the windows as the car wound its way cleverly through the widest gaps, following a path it obviously knew. After ten noisy, rocky minutes, the trees thinned and the car stopped so suddenly they were nearly thrown through the windscreen. They had reached. I will definitely be getting that John. Uh, we're going to explore the final two secret areas. Go and get that. Do the jewel, the then Chamber out? of Secrets. What have we found out? I'd like to know. What have we found out? You, you didn't come in here, mate. You just flew a car. Like, I, I, I explored it. I lived it. You just came at the end wrong. Stop pretending you did stuff. God, wrong. Really grind my gears with your lying sometimes. You know that, mate. Did you know that? But no, um, it's time for some Harry, very sad news. Ron, the music here is sorry, it's, but this it's will so be a sad. Bit of a shock. There has been another attack. Oh no. Who? Your I'm mama. Very sorry, but your friend Miss <laughs> Granger was found petrified near the library. I have asked all students to remain in their house common rooms. I also have some rather bad news for you in particular, Mr. Weasley. I'm sorry to tell you that your sister, Ginny, has gone missing. The suspicion is that she has been taken into the Chamber of Secrets. Oh no. Oh no! I'm wrong again! What are going to do? Oh How no, I'm a stupid poor person. The last time the Chamber of Secrets was opened, a girl was found dead in the bathroom. What if she never left that bathroom? What if she stayed why did, there? Why did you wait till now? Why didn't you tell Fresh McGonagall all this? Myrtle. Go to Jesus the Christ. Room, Ron, and find Moaning Myrtle. I'm going to find Lockhart. Lockhart? Lockhart? Why? Why? He's the defense against the dark arts teacher, and whatever's attacking people is definitely involved in the dark arts. The dark okay, arts. I'll meet you in the girls' bathroom. Sounds a bit dodgy, that. Ginny will be all right, won't she, Harry? No, mate, she's Don't dead. Don't worry, Ron. We'll rescue her, and then I'll close the Chamber of Secrets for good. All right, Mr. Know it all. I love that music. It sounds like something you'd hear in Half Blood Prince or something. I really love that piece of music. But I love how Ginny's such an afterthought. Like, oh yeah, wrong as well. Y your sister Ginny, she's she's being snatched by the monster. Bye. <laughs> then McGonagall just runs off. So I've got a whopping two beans over the limit to allow me to get the uh, the. Flipendo upgrade. We'll still get a few more beans in these two final secret areas. So we've still got to get three cards. Two in a secret area, one from the final duel, um, which is against the Slivering Champion for having 20 cards. So we'll be doing all that, visiting the secret room before going down into the chamber. And as, as Harry said, shutting it down for good. I'm warning you, don't come through here. Go away. Why? It's, it's just a lever in here. I never get why she's so stressed by this. It's like, I'm going to let you in, but don't come through here. And this is my favourite picture of all the Harry Potter games. He looks so happy. Like, look at that smile. It's a beautiful smile. I will be as happy as him. So that unlocks a door uh, from where we just came from. Uh, so that was the bookcase we came out of. That door was locked. And it's showing us the way we need to go up to get the wizard card, which is over there. And this is for the uh, Magic Unitely, the wizard chess champion. Um, and then the final card we'll get, uh, collectible, is Daisy Dodderidge. I have. What are you going to do about it? Nothing. Exactly, you stupid portrait. To a friendlier portrait. I have no idea. I was like, it's, it's just an amazing, happy guy. From I, last year. I have no idea who it is, so. You want to get to the floor above? Come on through, Mr. Potter. 
Like this one, I mean, this guy, he obviously, Circuit Duggan, he remembers us from last year. He's not like his evil counterpart who's like him a slivering thing. You're like, oh, uh, this will be the last time I'm seeing you alive, sort of thing. Like, do we have evil counterparts for the dueling champions or something? I don't know. Right, gotta wait for this stupid cauldron to come back. Come to me. Let me jump on you. Let me ride. No, that sounds dodgy. Not gonna say that. And then this room's just crazy. There's killer rats everywhere. Look how big these buggers are. So you've got to hit them with flipendo to knock them down size. And you get a nice little beam for doing each one plus five house points the Harry Potter house. Come here you bastard. Any more? Nope. I mean I don't need the beans so I'm, I'm really not bothered by them but yeah I'm, 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 I'm a pest control. I'm a verminator from over the hedge. Oh I'm a verminator. What a character he is. Knock that one. Finally, run, run, run and jump. I can be a back whack while you climb. Swing from the hairy vine. Oh, I've not listened to <laughs> the Star Wars song. I used to love listening to them all the time. The Star Wars songs from Bad Lit Reading. Oh, God. They were brilliant. Right. And then, once you come back through here, don't go through here, of course, because you'd be leaving. No, no, no. Go through this door here. And then, use your Virgin Milius duo. And it won't be for the last time this. We've used it quite a fair bit compared to in the last game. Um, this will be the last time we use it up until maybe like the Game Boy games, I'm guessing. It's not in any of the other games after this, so... Yeah, we might have to wait till the Game Boy games. It might Montague be in there. Knightley. I'm not too sure. But here he is, Montague Knightley. We'll have a look at him. Harry Pot Godric Gr Montague Knightley. Wizard Chess Champion. 1506 to 1588. So was that when he's wizard chess champion or was that when he was alive because it seems a long time to be a chess champion like 82 years but no one else has like a date of birth and a death except him if that's the case. What do you guys think? That's a bit weird isn't it? But yeah finally let's go down. So the actual portrait of the next secret area is the one next to Lockhart's office. Um, it's a nice short one. So not as long as that one. That one's quite a bit. It's not long. It's not complicated. But yeah, there's a fair bit to it, isn't there? Um, so let's go. Run, run, run. I'm so, I'm so sick of that auto safe thing. It, it, it lasts a few seconds. Like the, the, them few seconds add up over a live stream, like of two hours. That probably has like three or four minutes. I'm not even keen. Maybe like three minutes to the walkthrough in terms of like the live stream and stuff just because of that loading screen. Because you see it so often. Like it lasts about 10 seconds sometimes. It's so annoying. So here we go. Into here. Final area. Search and destroy. Well, I mean search and find. You will not destroy anything. <laughs> except the record for most wizard cards in Hogwarts I guess. I don't know. I'm just chatting absolute crap here. But anyway, let's get this card and then get the Flipendo thing. I, I, at these points, of sometimes in a live stream, you just like, you enjoy the game, but when you get into the end of the game, you play before, it's like, yeah, let's just, let's get it done. Especially, I, I love how adventurous, I'd actually say this is probably the best chamber. Once again, it probably goes PS1, PC, PS2. I don't know if you agree in terms of like the actual Chamber of Secrets area beforehand and stuff like that. I mean, PS2 literally doesn't have one. PC's fun. I think this one's actually the best in terms of it. So, yeah. It's fun. I just want to get it done. Boop, boop, boop. Clack, clack, clack. Here she is. Daisy Dodridge. Let's have a look. Harry Potter. L. Ignifi. Greg. Rowe. Just. Door. Chris. Yardley. Edgar. Help. Edgar. Uh, what? But. Daisy, there she is. Daisy Dodderidge. First landlady of the Leaky Cauldron. You've got a lot. Uh, you could always got the spell but it weren't back to hit. See, so I, I don't know why. So I get. I, I do this. I get that one. I get the card. I then go and get the spell. And then I go back to the 
common room to do the duel and then I come back. It, I, I guess there's no like good way of doing it. I mean, there's probably no short way. I'm, I'm, my way seems fine. It's probably quick, but I'd, there might be a better way. But that's what I like to do. Get the two cards, get the spell, do the duel, then go to the chamber. Because once you've done the chamber, like you can do the duel after the chamber, but I like to have, once we've completed the chamber, seen the credits, game over for me. I want to turn it off. So I like to have that as the last thing you do. The actual story part. Anyway, here we are, out of bounds, unless your name's Harry Potter and you have 500 Bertie Bots, every flavour beans. And you can pick up Incendio, which is not Incendio because it's Flipendo, but it says Incendio. Because it's that sort of crazy game. Oh, 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 oh. Incendio! Incendio! Except it's Flipendo! And this part, I love this. It's all right, John. No, it's all right. Yeah, no, because I mean, obviously, like in the last stream when you recommend you can go and get this first, it's like, oh yeah, never thought of doing that. It's like I always like to hear different ways of doing stuff, and it's just not something I've never considered. But yeah, that was a beautiful ah ah ah, ah by Harry Potter. Go be UK number one this week. I might make a short of that. Like I feel like I might make like a remix shot of that. Just going, ah, 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 ten hour loop. Should I get a ten hour loop of that? That'd be brilliant. Just Harry going, ah, 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 ah. and then finally, all the way, <laughs> the prefects in. Locomotor Mortis. Ah, I, I love him for Floss of Stone game where you hit them with the pendulum and stop the spell mid spell and they go like ah. Uh, no, sorry, that's Chamber of Secrets. I mean, yeah, that, no, that's Chamber. Um, yeah. So back up to here, and then into the common room. What a bird! What a bird! Why is the bur overloading screen here? I couldn't tell you. But it is. Some flew some big flew past my window then. It didn't look like a normal bird. Blooming hell it was a big one. Hey you Locomotor Mortis I think there's some room around here. Hey you! Come back here! So here we go, the final duel, the final card well, of the I game. This is the last I'll see you alive. What do you think's gonna happen in here? It's like two 12 year olds sending flipendo at each other. It's not gonna kill anyone. Jesus Christ, mate. Calm down. Calm down, my friend. A lot of anger. Calm yourself. Well, 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 Harry Potter. Oh, see who? So, you've made it this far. I am the Slytherin wizard, Julius. Oh, I'm sorry, wrong about. We're still about the prefects, aren't we? Silly here. me, I forgot what we were on about then. Let's duel. Get ready. Duel. And the match gets underway with both players getting quick. Where's the, com oh, the commentator's down there? I was like, where's the commentator? Oh, so, yeah, this one, again, it's just a sort of thing like I'm on the go. Get it over and done with. I really don't care about special spells. If it helps me, cool. But yeah, if not, eat nice and easy. I pretend to be shocked, but I'm not because it's really easy. This they all are. Second round goes to Potter. We've won. Let's go into the room. Stop having your things protect you, you stupid idiot. 
Nice and easy. We can all go home. You beat me! Oh, the shame of it. I'll never be able to hold my head up in polite society again. I didn't know you did, but already being a slivering and all. Oh, here, have Take that. I've got another like it anyway. Salazar <laughs> Oh, yeah. Remember when I followed you? You didn't. Crab and Gold did. Oh, oh yeah. But, but that's who. I don't know. But Crab must have told me about it, and I thought I was there because it was such a good story. <laughs> Rasmus. Seamus, blonde Norwegian cousin. Oh, Danish, sorry. Yeah, you're more danger. Danish. There we go, anyway. Well, well, We've well, beat them all. Potter. The Happy days. Student we can go into the Founders, founders Tower. I suppose you ought to be congratulated. Well done. Oh, thank you. Your brother's much nicer. He's like, oh, Mr. Potter, I've not seen you since last year. Come on through, Mr. Potter, you mad lad. So, yeah, I never find it worth it to just go into the Founders Tower, but it's a walkthrough, so why the hell not? I'll show you it. Nice and quick, because I was actually aiming at, I really wanted to be screaming for eight, but I just overestimated how long left we had. We did two hours the other day. It's about a five hour game. Um, I've some, I don't know why, Floss of Stone ended up being four hours, 55 minutes. And I just don't know where that time came from. Like, this game's going to be a similar length, and this game's much longer, so I don't know where I wasted all my time on Floss of Stone, because even, you think about it, the Gringotts, I only did twice on uh, the uh, galleons twice on sickles but there's nothing i really massively took my time with so i don't know why it took so much longer than it normally does for like three and a half hours where that extra one hour 20 minutes came from i don't know but anyway so this is the founder's tower it's it's got a book it's got a book it's got some artwork in it so it's fairly nice so we've got harry potter I'm just going to speak over Jim Dale. Ron Weasley. Ron Weasley. He looks cool. Hermione Granger. Hermione Granger in the ugliest cardigan you've ever seen. Draco Malfoy. Malfoying. I mean, I've never seen Malfoy wear something that ugly. He normally wears something pretty cool. Albus Dumbledore. I like quite Albus Dumbledore. He, he looks cool. It looks quite similar to his character. Hagrid. Same with Hagrid. But he looks like his character. Gilderoy Lockhart. They got him pretty good, yeah. Madam Hooch. She's not even in this game. She's in the PS2 game. Professor McGonagall. Yeah, so I thought that, but still, I, I, now we're in 20. I just, like, because it normally takes me about three and a half hours to complete. Not four hours, 55. McGonagall, again. Who's Professor there? Sprout. Professor Sprout looks nothing like this in any of the games, but there we go. She's got grey hair, but this is fun. Professor Snake. I wish Professor Snape looked like that. He's got so, look. It looks like he's have his trousers halfway pulled down. Look at the crinkles there. He's definitely got his trousers pulled down. Guy trash. Guy trash. Once again, not in this game. A PS2 thing. Hagrid's hut. Don't really look like that, does it? Basilisk. Spoilers. Don't look, guys. Don't look. Chamber of Secrets. Oh, spoiling it again. Herbology Greenhouse. Again. Not really what they look like, but okay. Aragog's Pit Lair. Pit Lair. Again, that's a PS2 PC thing. That's what we fall into when we chase and him. Again, a PS2 thing and PC. Filch. No. <laughs> Moaning Myrtle. Oh my god, she's taking off her big 1950s glasses for that picture. Nearly headless Nick. It does, doesn't it? It's baby basilisk that one. The uh, we'll go fight Mama Basilisk. I like Nick. Harry's bedroom at Trivet Drive. Wow, for all the four seconds you see it on the book and stuff. Ford Anglia. It looks angry, like it's got evil eyes, hasn't it? It's got like Sith orange eyes, like it's a Sith now, that car. Darth No Motorbeal. <laughs> Use the force, Luke. Forks the Phoenix. Forks the Phoenix. It's got a nice long tail thing. A fumous bat flavor. What? I, I still, to this day, what the kick? What the fuck is a fumous bat flavor? 
What is that? A puffer pod. A puffer pod. Quidditch player. Random ass Quidditch player. Aragog's lair. Tom Riddle. Again, spoilers, guys. God. Troll bridge. Troll bridge. Where, where the hell is the troll bridge in any of the games? Arthur Weasley's automatic. Oh, I missed them. Remember we fought them. Good times. Good times. But there we have it. The cool little art book you get for getting all twenty-four cards. But now we've had our fun. We've had our laughs. It's time to be serious and go and shut the Chamber of Secrets down for good. Once we get out of here. It is, isn't it? I've never even thought of that. It is Roderick Pumpton, the picture of him. God, why have I never thought of that? I was like, who the sat guy? Like, just quit play. It's Roderick Pumpton. Why is the... That was fun. Do, do you do you want to let me cast Verdemilius? Thank you. That would be helpful. I do need to get out of here. I need to go and stop the Chamber of Secrets and all that. Much more important than me just stood here. God. Right. On to the final mission. Hopefully, last half hour of the game, we get done for about ten to nine, and I can go have a drink. Oh. So bye bye friend George, I'm going to off save your sister or you just stand there like two wet willies or whatever the saying is. Wet lettuces, not wet. A wet willy is where you go <laughs> and stick it in someone's ear isn't it? Definitely not what I meant. <laughs> so you know obviously, so I mean I, I you know for my bonus videos John I have to sort of um, I sort of have to grab the card PNG, obviously put it on the thing, type it out, stuff like that. So I do look at a lot of card designs. Do you prefer the original card designs, like from the Foster Stone Chamber of Secrets game, or the Prisoner of Aspan card designs? Because I'm a Foster Stone kind of guy. There's a few prisoner ones where I'm like, yeah, they look pretty cool now, like a bit improved. But mostly I'm like, nah, Chamber of Secrets Foster Stone art style, much prefer. Uh, so well, I've been chatting absolute nonsense about cards. Strange. Why We're going to get to I better find another way around. Oh no, can't go through there. So, Gilroy Lockhart, being the crazy, crazy guy he is, has got the craziest security system in the world. It's like some electric thing. And this reminds me of, I know this game came out before it, but you're in um, Lego Star Wars uh, Episode 6, so when you go to fight the Emperor, he's got something similar on his floor when you're Vader and you've got to avoid it to get to him. It, I just hate it. I always end up getting it wrong and getting hurt. So there's two rooms of this. Um, so I'm just going to wait for this next floor to uh, open up. Come on. Come on now. Ah, bugger! No, I keep doing it wrong! Quick. Oh god, I almost stepped onto that one then. Right, let me out of here. Thank god, we've made it. Yeah, look, so did I, and yeah, it, it probably isn't now. Yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm the same, John. Like, like I say, I do prefer the uh, chamber. It's just happier, jollier, just, yeah, the car. I just love them. Um, they are really good. Have you got like a favourite person, like a favourite person with card design? This one, this room is annoying, I will say. I absolutely hate it. <laughs> um, it's much harder than the first room. Oh god! No, I wasn't fast enough. I just wasn't paying attention at all there. Right, quick. Stay here, onto here, boom. Got to like. So, on this next part, you've got to like cut across 
just like that there we go we're out of here Oh god, my phone's going off. I'm trying to do this. So just ignore the knights, honestly. Don't go through this door. You have to do the bloody knight thing again. I've done that before, trust me. You don't get to explore that area. It's useless, it's boring, it's just crazy. Oh, Mr. Potter, I'm rather busy at the moment. Professor, I have some information for you. I think Moaning Myrtle was the girl who was killed by the monster 50 years ago. She may know where the entrance to the Chamber of Secrets is. Ah, uh, well, okay, if you're sure. <laughs> he puts up very little fight compared to the actual book and movies, and he's like, oh, okay, well, if you're sure, better be Gryffindor! Oh, it's you. What do you want? To ask you the most romantic question how ever. You how did you die? Oh, it was dreadful. It happened right in here. So we meet, you know, it might be a cheat thing. But you know when, um, so you know when you're a chamber PC thing? Sorry, Mert, I know you're saying how you died, but we all know the story. Uh, so when you get all the gold cards in Chamber PC, Paracelsus and Herp of the Fowl, that green smoke behind them. Oh, it looks beautiful when it does that. Then I heard a boy come in. He said something funny. A different language. Alright, Merle, don't get me racist. Just not because everyone doesn't speak English like you. Oh, she, she's shut up now. You're speaking a made-up language now. It's called the language How? of silence. No idea. I just remember seeing a pair of great big eyes. And my whole body seized up. And I was floating away. Away, far away, far away, far away. By the sinks. By the sinks. Why does Lockhart run like this? The turned into snakes. Try saying something in parcel tongue. Wrong okay. fucking dickhead. Oh, <sighs> Oops, sorry, was that English? I meant to say that in parcel tongue. Come, come the I'll go first. Duh, duh, well, duh, looks like you boys don't need me. So duh, I'll be off. We'll be right behind duh, you, Harry. Won't we, Professor? No. Oh, dear. Oh, oh dear. Like... Why not make Lockhart go first? So this part is absolutely crazy and annoying. So it uses sort of a slide thing of the um, the slide of the flu powder and you do it again but this time for the Chamber of Secrets and it is so hard and random and annoying. Yeah, that's yeah the, the gold card challenges, so like the actual card museum area. Some of them absolutely look beautiful. The gold, yeah, especially the green and yeah, the Bertie Bot. Um, the, the sort of background for Helga Hufflepuff as well is quite fun. You don't want to speed up here, so you're actually on a timer this time. I can't remember if you're on a timer for the last one. I don't think you are for this one, but this one you are, so you have got to be a bit fast. And it is hard. There will be, I'll probably fail this for the first time. It might take me two attempts to do. Um, but yeah, you don't want to speed up at all on this one. Just hold forward, just make sure you're in the middle. There are some tight corners, especially after coming out of these tunnels. Sometimes it'll screw you over. Like this, this turn here, basket of a turn, that's where it is. And this part here is just crazy. And the turn here, yeah, that one where you sort of fly over, it's like, what the hell? But no, I've done it first time. Look at that. Look at that. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. I'm just the best R. Let's be honest, guys. I am the best. No, <laughs> but I am good. So we're in the chamber, having some fun. Oh, where is everyone? Oh, I'll just go for a walk. Da, 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 da. Nice place. It's Chamber of Secrets, isn't it? Ah, welcome, Harry. Here you are at last. Careful, going Harry. A bit weird. I think he's lost it. Lost it. Wow. No, 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 not the great Gilderoy Lockhart. 
It's just that now is the time to end this little adventure. But see? I'm just about to start having I fun. Go back to the school, tell them it was too late to save the girl, and that you both tragically lost your minds at the sight of her dead body. Oh Bit no. dark. <laughs> I know what he's gonna do? He's gonna try and hit us with one of his memory charms. Yes, indeed. The famous Lockhart memory charm. I'm sorry, boys, but it is for the best. I'm sorry, how is his lock how is the famous Lockhart memory charm a real thing? It's literally in the entire thing of it. Yes, I will run you with you. It's literally supposed to be all part of a secret where he he takes credit for what other wizards do. And he's it's now apparently some famous thing he does. Like, oh the old Lockhart thing. Like, no, it's so stupid. It's stupider than the Halloween. It's stupider than it's the stupidest thing in the whole game actually. Obliviate you bloody bad at aiming, that's what you are, Lockhart. I'll give you that. And also, it's so annoying, your blooming fl your flipendo upgrade doesn't count in this one. What's the point of having it if I can't use it against blooming Lockhart? It's unfair. That's what it is. Obliviate! Oh no, someone hurt Lockhart. But it's not fun because he doesn't steal Ron's wand like in the thing and it backfires. It just sort of. The world comes crashing down on him. Ron, are you okay? Hopefully Ron, not. Hopefully not. Hopefully yes, not. Oh, bollocks! Lockhart isn't though. He got blasted by his own memory charm. What are we going to do now? Well, we can't get through this lot. It will take ages. There's only one thing to do. You are here, and I'll go on. Ginny's been down here for hours, and if we waste any more time, it might be too late. Okay, Harry. I'll start trying to shift some of this rock so you can get back through. Okay, Ron, you do that, mate. Have fun. I'm going to actually do the actual hard work like always, you know, like the hero I am. Will you shift some rock? You pathetic wiener. God, Ron. Imagine if Ron got stuck on the other side and he had to go on his get Harry. How screwed they would be. Let's mix a portion and let's have some fun. Oh god, I'm, I'm watching the football at the same time there, sorry. It's a penalty shoot, I'm as kids crying and stuff, which, which is always fun to see. Bit of a horrible bugger. There we go, full health for this run. So yeah, I really love the chambering, the sort of like pre-chamber, there's three areas before the Chamber of Secrets we're going to explore. Two of them are really fun, one, one of them's just annoying I think, I'd say, but um, we'll still do it. And um, we'll still have the fun that you're meant to have in them rooms. And then yeah, we'll take on the Basilisk. There we go, so the three rooms are here. I don't know, we don't want to look at wizard cards. No, they're not. It's bloody giant rats. Ah, stupid giant rats. <laughs> Tom really must think that Harry would, but yeah. Honestly, like, imagine if, like, that's what I'm saying. Harry was stupid or if it's wrong. No one's getting in the Chamber of Secrets this time. Like, he's just got to have to kill Ginny and come back. One door, two doors. It's like a game show. Um, you've got to go through all three doors to win the money. Connor, are you ready? You may begin in three, two, one, go. So first room we're going into, and we've got fun names as well. We're going into the Lost Tunnel. They look like Elden Ring. I see you what? Elden Ring is a game I've not actually played. Might shock you. Um, yeah, just a game I just didn't play. Not got around to playing it at all. Not my sort of game, I feel like Elden Ring, but there we go. 
<laughs> so, drop down here, climb up. This first room, the Lost Tunnel, it's nice and easy. It's just rats, slugs and knights. Nothing too tricky at all. Um, you get to the end. You don't get house points down here. Like, house points don't count in the Chamber of Secrets, apparently. Um, stupid rat. Bugger off. No, don't. I will not let you tear me. You can bugger off. Incendio! Incendio! Flipendo! 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 Flip he's, he's on bloody speed now. He's like, Flipendo! Thirty millius! Flipendo! Thirty millius! Run across the crazy fire lava river of the... Um, <laughs> of the Chamber of Secrets and the Lost Tunnel is done! On to room number two. I didn't read what it was called, but do I care? No. So you think, oh, look, it's just a regular sized normal knight. You jump down, and it's a giant knight, and he's a bit less cool than the giant knight in Fluffs the Storm. He doesn't turn invisible at all. He's just always solid, and you can just hit him at all times. He'll lose his head eventually. But yeah, nice and easy. I am the knight now. There we go. Uh, the rock falls down, and all you need to do is hit the rock that way towards the wall. And then down here. Let's just defeat this knight because you really hate knights, that's what I do. I hit. Oh no! Well, that's failed. I was still locked onto the knight even though he was beat. Stupid game. Jump this way, defeat this knight. Stupid knight. Come get some. And then you, do you want some? Oh, we got we got points for that one. God knows why we can get points for the other one. And then, boom. Millius. Jump, jump, jump. So yeah, rooms one and two, nice and easy. I always just struggle with room three, so it's like a troll sneaking one. And I always get caught by the bloody trolls. Oh, sugar. Right, there we go, much better. No, oh no, don't fall, Harry, you moron. Stop being an idiot, Harry, please. There we go, and finally, top floor, two knights this time, still two idiots, boom, come on, come and have a go if you think you're hard enough, no you're not, you stupid little fart bags, and there we go, step onto this, off it rises, and out of here we go, into the third and final room. go and this I never get this we like which one it is to to uh, get get into the thing is it just random do you just have to do a few and then it breaks through or is there a specific one I never know with this so let's just try this one. Oh, that one worked never mind so here we are the infamous troll room that I always struggle with wearing like what, what are they they're wearing like leotards like caveman leotards what the fuck's that about that's so oh, bugger off I wasn't even that close come on come on oh he caught me that time right it's about being patient I, I'll try to rush it that time let's just be patient and hopefully it all will work out Like the one in the forest I've always got a tactic for, but this one, no tactics, just vibes, just sort of look, just when they turn here, sort of spring on through behind this one, like that, oh he caught me, 
That's what I mean. I don't understand this one. I don't know which is the best way to do it or anything. There we go. Just run through like that, I guess. That's probably the best way to do it. And then just same on this side. Just sprint on through. Run for your life. Oh, God. And then we're in. Oof. No luck. No, it's all luck, sorry. No tactics, just luck. But it's done. And we'll never need to do it again. Phew. So before the basilisk, let's make a potion. And then finally defeat the bastard. Oh, there we go. For the last time, into the chamber. Well, not for the last time, so we've got to do a few more games with Chamber of Secrets in, but on the PS1. The last mission, let's get in there and fuck shit up. She's alive, but only just. Only just? Why has he got blue hair? And if you're not playing in 4K, the book looks like a gun. So I always think he was carrying a gun, but it's a book. It still doesn't mean he should have blue hair. Nuh-uh. I'm afraid Ginny told me all about you, Harry. So I decided to show you my famous capture of that great oaf, Hagrid, to gain your trust. One day, I hoped to lead another in my footsteps to finish the work of Salazar Slytherin. I knew you were on the trail of Slytherin's heir, so I led Ginny down here to wait. Tom Riddle was my filthy, non-magical father's name. Do you see it yet, Harry? No, I'm, I'm just confused. I am Lord Voldemort, and now, Harry, I am going to teach you a little lesson. Speak to me, Slytherin, greatest of the Hogwarts Four. But but you're not speaking to go to Gryffindor. That's right, I said it, you bastard. Tom's packing a Glock. Yeah, so when the magic basilisk doesn't work, he just goes pop, pop, pop into Harry's head. All fixed. So here we go. So it's split into two stages, and once again, music is absolutely on point for um, for a Harry Potter game. Jeremy Snow just does a brilliant job. Absolutely brilliant music. So what you want to do, charge up your spell. When it opens its mouth, after spitting the venom, shoot it down its gob. Harry doesn't give Tom enough. Yeah, he doesn't, but he's just like, oh, okay, let's just fight this battle. So you're like... Doesn't you know go oh double dodge the greatest sorcerer in the world stuff like that? Yeah, it's just okay. Yeah, show sure, me you've you've won. I'll just fight your basilisk and we'll go from there, sort of thing. But I guess in these games, Harry was a mute in the first one, so he speaks a little bit more, just not too much in this game. Wow, thanks, mate. Wow, it's such a good sword. I wish we could actually swipe at this bloody basilisk. Imagine that just fighting the basilisk. Instead of using it some like magic wand or deflector, just ooh, 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 getting in there, ooh, hacking away at the basilisk. That's what I'd love to do. Oh, what a shame. I'm so bad at controlling this compared to what you actually should be. Like, honestly, I mean, I feel like. The tactic is to get closer, isn't it? Like, be really close. It's more controllable from a close range. So let's check it out. Let's try and knock one up. Yeah, it is, but I'm just bad at it still. Maybe I'm just bad at it just in general. <laughs> Not the best. So, come on, try and suck me in any way, though. Come on. Oh, 
Ooh, almost halfway there. Whoa, you're halfway there. Whoa, you're gonna be dead soon. Not much health taken away at all there. Oh dear. You can tell it's late. You can barely see me in the camera now. Oh dear, I should turn on the light, but we've got about 10 minutes left of the stream, so there's no point. Oh, sugar. Come on. Ah, I've gone all dark. Maybe the light's fading out of me. Oh no. Am I dying? Is Harry dying? I don't know anymore. Come on. It does get a bit repetitive, this, I will say. I wish it was like a third stage, a bit like the Quill boss fight. The Quill boss fight was much better than this one. I feel like all the Bastard's boss fights are a bit meh in terms of what you do. But again, it's not what you can do with Bastard's unless you are like hitting it with a sword, like I said. I don't know. Oh, shiver. Come on. That picture of it is pretty good. You know the little picture in the bottom corner? It's okay. I'll give it. I'll give it a fucking eight out of ten. Ah, Harry! You flipped it, you moron! Stupid Harry! Right, come on. Time to. Put an end to you now, mate. There you go. Take that riddle. Suck your mum, as the kids say. Oh, look, a tooth. Why does he throw the book at Harry? He's like, oh, I don't want to live anymore. You killed my basilisk. Kill me as well. It makes no sense whatsoever. <laughs> and yeah, in fact, sad they don't get like a more bit more back and forth like you said, John, there. You're like, but Harry dying, stuff like that. It's just. Oh, Harry's dead too. Everyone's dead. Ginny's not though, but it was nice while it lasted. Oh well, let's finish the story and skedaddle out of here. There was silence. Silence except for the steady drip drip of ink still oozing from the diary. The basilisk venom had burnt a sizzling hole right through it. Shaking all over, Harry pulled himself up. His head was spinning as though he'd travelled miles by flu. <laughs> the two foot like a Ginny paper drew a cup. great shuddering gasp. It was me, Harry, but I swear I didn't mean to. I don't care. Going to Azkaban. See you later, Ginny. Harry told her that it was all right, that Riddle and the Basilisk were finished. Yeah, on, it, it really is whack a mole. I mean, I prefer it if you didn't have like magic with a thing. You actually had to whack it as it came out like a whack-a-mole. That'd have been even better. We're hitting the wet floor of moaning Myrtle's bathroom. Harry told them everything. He told them about told who everything? Myrtle's floor. Hermione finally realised that he was hearing a basilisk in the pipes. How Aragog had told him where the last victim of the basilisk had died. How he had guessed that moaning Myrtle had been the victim. And that the entrance to the basilisk's lair, the Chamber of Secrets, might be in her bathroom. Fucking Detective Sherlock Harry here. Professor Dumbledore explained that 50 years ago, Lord Voldemort, as a 16-year-old Tom Riddle, had enchanted his diary. And How diary Dumbledore doesn't know it was a basilisk him. actually annoys me so much. Later, Harry managed to release Dobby from the slave. Is Harry okay there? It looks like he's taken so much ecstasy. Look at his eyes. He's 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 on something. He's off his head. And as for Harry. Jesus Harry, have you taken ketamine as well or something? You fucking drug addict. You boy you live. You won't be living much longer if you keep on them drugs. God Harry, you disgusting little boy. Well there we have it guys. Oh Bet I'm back. Chamber of Secrets on the PS1 is done. It's been an absolute blast. I've really enjoyed playing it. I've really enjoyed hanging out with you guys on screen today. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. Let's see who we'll see who's won the House Cup. On the video, you'll be able to watch the credits if you want, because things like that are fun. I'll keep the stream on for you to watch it as well. Um, but once it's once we're over, stream will be done. I'm gonna go and get a drink now. 
So thank you so much for watching, guys. Do give a like. This game is brilliant. The first game I ever played. If you ought to watch the full review, I've already done one Puffle, Puff. on my actual walkthrough of it. But this being the full walkthrough of Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. You guys on my live stream, so I'll see you soon for some Foster Stone on the PC. Can't wait to be doing that. So we're going to be on the PC games next. Yeah, so uh, beyond, just because I'm saying it. Riffindor. Next week, I'll be streaming Harry Potter and the Foster Stone on PC. I don't know which day yet. I'll be able to tell you closer at the time. Riffindor. So we'll be got to moving on to the PC games next. And we'll be having some more fun yeah. live on stream. But thank you so much for hanging out with me today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. We are the champions, House Cup champions. We've defeated the Chamber of Secrets of the Basilisk. Enjoy the credits. See you all soon, guys. Bye-bye.